Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119, everybody. This is Callisto6, the cyberpunk superhero RPG here live on Geek and Sundry. How is my team tonight? How you oh. Yeah, we got a big, big night tonight. A um, really? couple of announcements. We're going to go ahead and just start into them uh, real quick. Uh, so first off, um, big thing. So next week is the season finale of Callisto 6. No! It's, it's hard to believe that it's already here, but next week will be our final episode oh. before the holidays, wow. um, and next season series. two will be picking up again next year. <laughs> so um, here's the thing, though, guys. Um, up until now, we've been talking about a little thing called Measure Z, and you're going to hear that talked about a lot in the coming uh, episode. So... To give you a refresher of everybody who's watching at home, Measure Z is the vote that is being cast as to whether or not corporate LA should be restored or should be essentially officially made the finite source of power that it is, or if the power should be given back to the elected officials of Los Angeles. So it's a really big deal. It's been going on since the very first episode of Callisto 6. It's been sort of the undercurrent, the background noise, as everything has been unfolding and sort of the motivator for a lot of the baddies that everyone's been encountering. Um, here's the deal. You guys are going to vote on Measure Z. Ooh. You get to pick. Oh, right. You, 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 are, you guys oh. at home. So what's going to happen is on <laughs> Tuesday of next week, there will be a poll put up on Geek and Sundry. And the polls will open and we will start voting on Measure Z. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a GM heads up. The corporate LA might be might be trying to rig the system, so make sure to huh. vote. <laughs> oh. Make sure to vote. What day um, is that? Measure so the vote. polls will open starting next Tuesday at 10.30. That's the date. Early voting. And mm -hmm. they will be open until next Friday at 7 p.m. The end of our season finale is when the polls close. Wow. The end? That's correct. Wow. So the results of this poll are not going to be given. Oh. That is... The ultimate <gasps> Campbell cliffhanger. Wow. Yeah. You guys are going to get to decide the direction of season oh, two of man. Callisto 6 and wow. what the city and landscape looks like for our cyberpunk superhero RPG here. So look for the posts and link on GNS Socials next Tuesday. Just to clarify, yes on Z means corporations out. No. And we're gonna clarify That'd on that. Cool. <laughs> so get out and vote. There's a strong possibility, as we said, that the corporations might try to rig it and your vote will determine the direction of season two. So yes, as there will be, by the way, it's going to be set up like a voter's guide. So there will be an explanation as to what a yes vote will mean for corporate Los Angeles and Los Angeles 2119, and it will be an explanation as to what a no vote will mean. Cool. And statements yeah. from opposing councils and a rundown of the fiscal risks. <laughs> yeah. They're also going to have to yes, sue actually, the state yes. because uh, the measure, the propositions are not stated clearly enough. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's going to be a thing that happens um, starting next Tuesday. So yes, there will be there will be an explanation of who endorses and who does not, and who endorses what and the impact, the fiscal impacts upon the city. But it will be kept very general as to not like get into the <laughs> nitty gritty of it, but you'll get the basic idea. And then from there, super punks, we'll find out what the hell happens in season two and what our team comes back into. Okay. Uh, so that's the first thing. So that's pretty big. Um, it's like in comic books when they asked to dial a 100 number to uh, a one number, one nine hundred number to oh. determine the fate of uh, Robin, and then Robin. Died. Oh man, <laughs> they had they had two panels. Yeah, I know. What? I know. Oh, do you not? This is a real thing. Oh, this is a real thing that happened. They chose a real thing. Amy, Amy, break yeah. it down. <laughs> they did the same. Didn't they have a voting system in place for the Marvel versus DC, the very first they battle between yeah, the Marvel did. versus yeah, they DC? Did. Who they would did. win? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Kidding me? I don't know, man. In a straight fight, I'm still yeah. back and forth about Batman and Cap. I mean, Batman typically is going to have the edge on that, I think. Let me let me answer that so. one once and for all. Batman himself said, admitted, not in that miniseries, but in Avengers, JLA, JLA Avengers, uh. when he sp sparred with Captain America and they were testing each other as mm -hmm. they were like in the rain fighting on a rooftop, Batman said, okay, it's conceivable you could beat me in a straight fight, but it would take a very, very long time. Hmm. But how about instead of fighting each other, we go get to the bottom of what's actually going on. And Captain uh. America was like, agreed. And then they teamed up. Mm. So Batman himself said, yes, Cap could kick my ass. It would just take a very long time. Uh -huh. End of debate. Mm. Well, uh, you know my favorite? I'm, after all the crazy cool whoa, stuff whoa. that, thank you for that. All, uh, and, just, and just to close that out, my, nice my favorite Jesus. thing that came out of that whole crossover comic series, my favorite huh. thing, and, and this is going to sound controversial to some, but my favorite thing that came out of that crossover is Jubilee and Robin. 
Totally. Oh yeah. That, oh. I, they, they, like, made out. I shipped Whoa. the crap out of that. They probably didn't. That made so much sense to me. I was another like, Robin yep. that died, another Robin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> a few more, a few more announcements to get through uh, before we start today's game. Oh no. Um, the next announcement, um, I have to give a big shout out to Spikey. Mm. Um, one of our super punks who uh, did something pretty crazy. Um, Spikey, I do have your three page uh, letter here. Um, so it, it, we are kind of going to be tight on time tonight, so we'll be able to get through it all in the air. But I will give a shout out to your wife. Um, and I don't know how to pronounce the handle. It's Trinculo21. Tranquilo. Tranquilo 21? Tranquilo. Tranquilo 21? Hey. I'm giving a shout out to you. Your husband Spikey made me this. Wow. Yeah. This is my Callisto 6 GM screen. Oh, look at the lady. Oh, oh, in all of its beauty. It's so Every crazy. fist has her power. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys don't know, Especially Spikey good. is the person who made that gorgeous uh, GM screen for Shield of Tomorrow with the Sally Ride on the front. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Wow. So, Which one's better? Yeah, Which they're both better. Great. Don't do do this. Just making commissions. Just What's that? Asking. Yeah. To take commissions. Asking for a fan base. Yeah. I'm asking for a fan base. Um, now you're thinking. Of a few more announcements. So thank you, Spikey. This thing is awesome. I'm going to be using the hell out of this. So cool. This thing is so rad. And a big shout out to your wife. Um, Can you show us that side again with the? Fish? Yeah, yeah. You want to see yeah. the fish? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that rad? Wow. Wow. So this might be the part of the screen. So no joke. So um, I'm the cool. blue mist border. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. He, he worked. He worked a long time on this thing. He worked really hard on this. Wow. It's wow. beautiful. Um, uh, another thing, real quick, just as a personal thank you to everyone who's been showing our Cthulhu one shot so much oh, love yeah. from last year. Yeah. I just kind of posted that on the whim that we did. We ran on Halloween night. Uh, it's on my Twitter, so if you want to check it out, if you um, if you want to go check it out, thank you so much. Um, we definitely want to do more cosmic horror here at GNS, so your voices are they do matter. Um, next thing I want to tell you guys, real quick, before we close up our announcements. Um, so when Callisto Six comes to an to an end uh, this coming Friday, not obviously not tonight, but the next Friday, um, our season finale. What is going to replace Callisto 6? Well, we kind of mentioned this before that what we were going to do is it's going to be 12 episodes of Callisto 6. That'll be our season. Then we move on to six episodes of another RPG to close out the year. And then we come back for another 12 episode season and so on and so forth. So our first game coming up, I'm very excited to announce, is an RPG that I was really pushing for and happy to see us uh, take on. It's called Overlight. Um, it is a gorgeous yeah. RPG published by Renegade Games. Um, the bigger question, though, aside this beautiful, beautiful, brand new RPG is who is the GM? Because it's not me. And I'll give you a hint, because we're going to find out right now. The GM is sitting at the table. <gasps> who could it be? It's definitely not me. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> the actor's wow. nightmare, like waking up and being handed a yeah. script. Yeah. Can you just um, this off at the pass? It's not me. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually 100% confirmed. All right. Is it Gina? The GM of Overlight, if you would please raise your I hand. GM enough. <laughs> if the GM of Overlight would please raise their hand. I'm sitting on mine. Yay! Introducing <laughs> Aliza Pearl, the GM of Overlight. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> That's right. So, yes, stepping into the GM's chair, I'm super freaking excited for you. I was like, maybe I'll ask Eliza if she wants to do this. And I thought it was going to be a hard sell. Nope. I was like, yes. <laughs> yep. I got um, the yes immediately. Yeah. I had just come off of doing a three episode story on Weave Society. So a beautiful story. I entirely have yeah. Weave Society to thank for this because I didn't know I would get so obsessed with GMing. <laughs> and then they had me on and I was like, this is the best. <laughs> and then the week after they asked me to GM Overlight and I said yes. Yeah, because I watched that episode of Weave and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I think I know a great candidate for Overlight. And uh, I am not wrong. I am GM Eric, and I am not wrong. <laughs> I know oh, more. Where can people pay attention to things? I guess just follow Geek and Sundry on socials? Yeah, follow Geek and Sundry. Um, there's going to be some more information and things being posted over the next couple of weeks. Um, and definitely come and uh, hang out with us starting November 4th, 9th. Oh, I'll be in chat. The same yeah. time and place. <laughs> Eric will be in chat, <laughs> trolling. <laughs> yeah. That checks out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, unless there's any other incredible announcements, um, 
Oh, oh, incredible announcements! I have nothing. <laughs> okay, great. Well, anyway, so no, we don't. We do not start without. We do not start without the announcement. What you want? We to have say? a real quick one. Oh, uh, yeah. As soon as the show is done, we are hopping on a plane, like we do all the time, uh, to go to uh, Louisiana, and we're going to be performing in New Orleans as Library Bards on Monday, the 29th. So if any of you are in the Louisiana uh, area and want to come see the Library Bards perform. Uh, we'll be down in, at the Sydney Saloon <laughs> yep, on Monday night. And also, oh, that yeah. Saturday night, tomorrow night, I'll be at the Vampire Masquerade Ball as my character, <gasps> X, from L.A. by Night. Ooh, Jason Crawl's cool. going to be there for that, isn't he? Nope. No. I'm going to be there. Ah. <laughs> Not because that's why I'm there. Ah, okay. Representing, representing yeah. LA by night. Okay. I do have one more. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. This weekend I'm going to Geek Girl Con oh, yeah. in Seattle. Oh, yeah. Cool. And I'm oh, going to be on, go to Geek Girl Con. Yeah, I'm going to be on two panels. Uh, Como se dice nerd, which is about, yeah. being, <laughs> which is about being Latinx and being a nerd. And and also, I just got added to the Afrofuturism 101 panel. Ooh. Uh, I feel like yeah. you have something to offer to that panel. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think yeah. both of these are right in my wheelhouse. I feel like so, yeah. so yeah, those cool. are Saturday at two thirty, and then Sunday at two thirty. Damn. So yeah, if you're around, come say hi and come some good announcements tonight. Go there yeah. and then come to Louisiana. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Easy. Easy. Divide and conquer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's our announcements, right? Mm. Is there supposed to be more announcements? Mm. I think so. Don't you curse us like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not before this. <laughs> well, if you say so. Uh, actually. One thing that's going on uh, for a few folks that you may have seen going around the internet mm -hmm. is uh, that in addition to the D&Ds that I play around here and RPGs that I do around here, um, we're, we're taking D&D uh, &D International and um, I, along with some other cool folks, are going to be playing D&D uh, &D in a castle. In the UK, right? In the And that's UK? next summer, and they can buy tickets now. Oh God, they can do it right so now. Uh, Man, can I can I come with Can I come with you? I mean, can I, can I, I would love to run D and D in a castle. Um, that sounds great, but I wouldn't want to do it without having like at least one more person around to maybe like keep an eye on you and mm. just chaperone that whole thing. Okay, so, like, Amy, you want to come with me? Let's bring internet sensation Amy Dallas. So then on. you, me, and Amy will go play D&D &D in a castle this coming summer. Uh, I think that sounds like amazing. a great idea, and those who want to find out more should uh, go on Twitter at D&D, D-N-D, in a castle. Yeah. Uh, to you find out more. can currently sign up for the mailing list so that when tickets go on sale very soon, you have first crack? Do I have that right? I believe you do. <laughs> so go check that out, that and good. you can be like me. And be excited! Nice segue. <laughs> all right, with all of that out of the way now, <laughs> we are now going to start tonight's episode of Callisto 6. TPK everywhere. Oh, uh, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Callisto Sex. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> yes, indeed. So let's go ahead and start the recap of tonight's episode. Um, yeah, last week we left in a bit of a bind, didn't we? A uh, successful infiltration into the Cassium's genetics lab hidden away in the Los Angeles forest. The Callisto Six managed to infiltrate this lab through the cunning use of run and punch <laughs> and the cunning use of shape-shifting, thus saving civilian lives mm. who would probably have been caught in the crossfires in that laboratory when you guys first entered. Um, there were a couple of civilian scientists in the area, if you remember correctly, in the waiting room, who upon seeing the approach of Oniko was told to get the hell out, and that's exactly what they did along with everybody else. Um, you guys managed to get into this elevator. Of course, Lacey hacking the elevator and dropping you guys down to the lowest sub-level of 20, which did not appear in the blueprints that was uh, that was basically uh, a quick recap. The reason why y'all know about this base 
is because the Deathless himself managed to swipe that information right before the, all the shit went down in the corporate LA, uh, in the, 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 what am I blanking on it? The, the Times Square. It's basically the square of corporate LA, that big open space between all the buildings. Like New Pershing um, Square kind of thing? Essentially, yes. That whole, that big combat where you managed to pick up a new droid and get the hell out of there, um, where you saw Oniko doing her dirty work for the very first time. Um, during that whole mission, uh, Kochi managed to uh, essentially steal the data from Cassium, which led to the location of this base. You guys infiltrated it on Kylan's uh, information to try to find out if you could uncover exactly what the hell was going on here, because rumors, according to the data, and rumors that have been going around town, Cassium has been stealing corpses from the morgues of Los Angeles, and they have been transported under the cover of data encryption to and multiple payoffs to this particular location. What they're doing with them, you guys had no idea, but there's an opportunity here to uncover and expose corporate LA and what it's up to. Um, upon hacking this elevator and dropping down to the lower sub-levels of the Cassium Genetics Lab. Girl from um, <laughs> The moment the doors open, you found yourself in a rather impossible looking room, a huge hanger-sized room with thousands of pods stacking up on top of each other, leaning slightly, uh, sort of at an angle, and stacked all the way up to the ceiling, down rows and rows and rows to the very back of this hanger-sized underground complex. Um, the place was very cold the moment you walked in, um, either from the sheer depth or the fact that they're keeping this place refrigerated is kind of left to the imagination. There was only one person down here, and very eerily, when you encountered him, you recognized him immediately, <laughs> unfortunately, as Dr. Jerome Blair, the Cassium Research Director, who was encountered when Anton was down in the depths of Cassium Corporate, swiping his super suit. Super you found your super suit. <laughs> yes, while all this is taking place, mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> while all of this was taking place back at Blue Dolphin Base, Oya, has been left caring for Sal, hmm. the, uh, the experiment that seems to have sort of endeared itself to everybody, um, a creature that is quite capable of horrific violence, but doesn't seem to be inclined to it unless threatened. And as a result, there's been a bit of a bonding action that's been taking place between him and the team. Unfortunately, in the last episode, you guys uncovered a wound on Sal. Not just a wound, but it looks like it actually might be serious and maybe something more in play. Essentially, under his left arm, sort of below the base of his shoulder blade, looks like, it literally looks like the skin and the musculature started to cave in on itself. At first, it looked like it was septic, but it turns out it's necrotic. It looks like the flesh, the, everything is dead, and it looks like it's spreading inward. Um, so, Oya has decided to stay behind to see if she could use her abilities to maybe reverse what's happening to Sal. Not that you've ever done anything like this before, but right now there was really nothing else to do, especially because you guys had to get to this Cassium Research Lab, which is where we start tonight, tw 20 floors down, hundreds of feet beneath the surface of the earth in a hangar that's being cast in this eerie, greenish, bluish glow all over these frosted over, the, the windows are frosted over and all these can, these, these pods are just lining the walls and ceiling, um, possibly from condensation and refrigeration on the inside. Thousands of them, probably about a, a good estimate, maybe two and a half, maybe possibly 3,000 of these things. So you get an idea of how packed in this place is. The open space in which you are now stepping into that you can see out with Dr. Jerome in front of you, he's about 60 feet in front of you guys. Um, in a lab coat, um, looks relatively unfazed upon the side of you. He has a data pad in his hand that looks like it has, you can clearly see research notes on the data pad. Um, and he looks rather unfazed when he sees you all coming in. In fact, Rather eerily, he seemed rather pleased to see Anton, <laughs> recognizing him immediately when he walked into the, into the room. Other than that, this place is so big and cavernous, 
you can kind of hear slight echoes. And there is these bizarre, almost cryogenic mists sort of floating across the floor um, from time to time, giving this place an air of almost like a frozen graveyard stacked upon itself. Um, <laughs> there's no doubt that the place you've stepped into has an eerie, cold, sterile, and lifeless feel. Um, and your imaginations cannot help but make the connection between all of the missing bodies and all of these pods. Um, and as the elevator closes behind all of you, uh, Jerome is smiling, having said, it's good to see you again, Anton. And then he says, well, this works out great. And that's where we're going to begin tonight. Uh, Luma sees schematics developing in her head and lists of code and hears there are too many capsules to control individually. There's probably a central controller system. Any sense of a s shutdown problem would probably trigger an auxiliary control. So if I altered it, I would have to reset the temperature parameter so it wouldn't sense a problem. Should it be warmer? Uh, no, warmer could have a defrosting effect. Further cold could disrupt the homeostasis. The cryogenics depend on its really delicate balance. So if I could tell it to go colder, then it would so, freeze and oh block the cellular structure. This, and This is all taking, so as this, is this information is pouring into your ears, <sighs> Oniko, because you are still in the form of Oniko, yeah. Fletcher Krause's right-hand assassin. Um, Jerome stares at you and says, Oniko-san, are these, Guests of yours? Huh. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. That's very interesting. Can I show you around? Tell me about your science nonsense! There's no such thing as science nonsense. Uh, which have you told that to quantum physics? I have, is, <laughs> on occasion. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. You're, you're, the, uh, you're the brains, I take it. Everyone's. Oh, sorry. oh, that wasn't meant as an insult. I'm sorry. No, yeah, they're the brains. Yeah. I mean, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you're speaking my language. I do crack science jokes all the time and nobody gets them. But then, of course, I'm talking to 3,312 dead people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what Oniko came down here to show us, right? The... I think, I mean, what, uh, she, she doesn't really say much, so we just followed where she went, and now we're down here. Why do cryogenics on dead bodies? That doesn't make any sense. What can I do for you? I you, just hit Antoine. You said you something. wanted to show us around? I'd be happy to. Good, I can start trying to find the central controller. Oh yeah, central tap control. into my glasses. Can mm. you hear me? Oh yeah? Are you trying to raise Oya? Yeah. Nothing. I'm vocal. Mm -mm. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, so he just says, yeah, uh, follow me. I'll be happy to show you around back here. Yes, great. Yeah, great. Yes. Great, great, great. Mm -hmm. great, 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 great. Um, so <laughs> you guys begin to move deeper into the facility. Uh, yeah, it, it's row after row, it's the same thing. It's sort of a cookie cutter image. Uh, one by one as y'all walk past these frozen Pods. I, I want to. I want to go up the back. I want to like be the tail of this. Okay. I'm gonna be leaning into Lacey. Okay. Like, are they whispering? No. No. I. I can't hear much yet. I haven't been listening yet. Um, what's going on? What do you mean cryogenics on dead body? What do you? What do you? What do you keep saying? I, something about a central system. Anything. Yes. If you see one, tell me. But what? Jerome stops at one of these and says, as you can see, the facility is working perfectly and a lot of the pods are still performing their job just as we designed them to. <laughs> what mm. exactly is the job that these pods are doing? We know, but mm. like, remind us. He glances at you and says. I, I, I do a quick little corner smile at, at, at the doctor. Um, he and kind of furrows his brow for a second and just says, As an investor, you know, my company would be very interested. And what company is that? I prefer not to re reveal my sources, but there's a lot of income that could 
be funneled to Cassium if you impress me. And once again, he glances at you. I don't make a single face and I just hold eye contact. Okay, and then he looks away and says, well, um, what was the question? What exactly are these pods doing? These pods, and this entire row, in fact, are gestating chambers. We're making sure that the mutations take before we run phase two experimentation on whether or not the cellular structure will hold. But this has failed in the past. Yes. Why at this large of a scale? What makes you so confident that these pods will work? <laughs> it's not the pods that are working. I'm sorry. There's a lot to cover. And I can answer these questions by showing you, if you'd like to see. By all means. Which one's Walt Disney? <laughs> Get it? No? <laughs> <laughs> he turns and begins to move down. He says, as you can see, as I was saying before, this row here is the one where we're monitoring cellular degeneration. We won't have the same problems that we had with one of our other test subjects, the one that was uh, lost to us, unfortunately, from what I understand. But, um... You're talking about C92. Yes, C92, that's correct. Um, moving forward with the results that we were able to attain from the data of C92 before we lost contact with Blue Dolphin Base, we can now confidently say that cellular degeneration will no longer take place in any of these life forms. Hmm. Unfortunately, the C6 power source still cannot be contained in the cells. But we are making some impressive advances towards genetic mutations that are quite impressive. If I could get my hands on that first experiment, though. Hmm. It's a shame. So are you storing these cryogenically? Uh, While they're just eating? They're being stored cryogenically as to not, uh, not to alarm anyone, but um, when they reach a certain stage in the mutation process, they become violent. So you haven't stabilized cerebral mutations. Are you using chemical assistance for the cryogenics then to avoid the freezing point problem? Cerebral mutations is next. Right now, we're more concerned with the bodies. Are they getting born or being dead? Yes. Oh, they, no, they begin dead. Um, we're able to take necrotic tissue and sort of reverse and engineer a cellular process that allows it to be reanimated. But unfortunately, the energy sustained, <clears throat> it, really what it requires is the Callisto-6 energy source for it to all work. And there's not enough of it left to use on everything. So. What we are doing is, as some would say, spitballing. And if all else fails, then we'll attempt, well, I shouldn't say. I think there are some things that probably uh, Kylan would prefer that we don't pass on to even our investors. And those are- Who's that one? Who? Yeah, you got a person in there. Who is it? <laughs> Um, I think she brings up a good point. From a public relations standpoint, what is the worst case scenario of this information leaking to the public? Oh my God. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's entertain the thought. Again, from a public relations standpoint, we're right. with Cassium. Um, we're looking for a return on our investment. It's we true. need to make money off of this. Well, I don't think that's really my field. I couldn't answer that question. I'm Fair just enough. a research scientist. Fair enough. In terms of your particular department, what is something that your team has has considered with the ethical ramifications of this work? In a perfect world, ethics makes sense. In the field of science where you're mm -hmm. trying to achieve greatness, it gets in the way. Indeed, indeed, greatness, indeed, yes, indeed, now, indeed, indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, It was, we did make concessions. We are using, of course, corpses. How, of course. How sturdy is this glass? I'm gonna walk up and tap one of the tubes. Sturdy they, enough that the few subjects that have attempted to break free um, have failed. Because of the thickness or durability of the glass? 
Well, the durability of the glass doesn't need to be tested because we have emergency systems in place to liquefy anything inside if we need to. I want to walk up to one of the pods at that. Okay. And it, is there like a window to see? Oh, yeah. It's, um, think of it kind of looks like the pods like you'd see an alien. Yeah. So you can actually, if, if they were not frosted over, you could see whoever was inside. I'd kind of attempt to. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's easy to wipe the condensation yeah. down. It's difficult to see what's inside at first because the air inside is so chilled. It is dark. Yeah. Um, and there is some condensation that is collected on the inside of the glass. There is the cryo freeze has taken effect inside as well. Are there but, any charts attached, or mm -mm. Uh, there's no identification of who these? Nope. But people are any buttons on the pod? Were would, would be a better by database. Um, what you see inside the glass does not resemble anything you've ever seen before. Hmm. Luma, it does, it, if it was human, it's, it does have a strange from, just from what you can tell in the brief glance, it does have that strange sort of dark patchiness that Sal has, but it is horribly mutated. Um, so it's just reanimated necrotic tissue? It, it looks like it's, if it's reanimated, you can't tell because it's so It's not, still. there's no movement or anything, no breathing or anything? There's no breathing from what it looks like, but this thing, um, it, it looks, it looks like it's malformed in a way that is, it, this thing could easily be mistaken for a hairless animal of some kind. Mm. And its head does not resemble anything of Homo sapien. It looks like it's elongated, kind of pulled out, and it looks like it has a little bit of a maw kind of gaping forward. Um, it's difficult to make out exactly, but the, the, the genetic manipulation is extensive and horrifying. Yeah. And the fact that you are only getting a little bit of an image of it is kind of like, it, it kind of adds to the error of terror yeah. that you begin to feel sort of creeping up your spine when you look into this pod. Um, excuse me, oh. I have a question. Yes. Presumably, you at least investigated the possibility that the behavioral problems you're experiencing are related to using post-mortem subjects. Have you tried to see if that would replicate when using live subjects? Oh god, did they actually use living people? Did they well, use when people? Uh, the first subject, of course, was living, but what we discovered was is that um, not only was the psychological impact upon the multiple test subjects that we used to create the original test subject was horrific and inhumane, um, which was admittedly a minor inconvenience for those who were helping in the project. But uh, I will say that the, the greatest outcome of that was is that the subject is a sim The takeaway from using a living subject is that unfortunately the living subject is... Uh, how do I put this? Uh, on borrowed time. Uh, you were talking about the research that you've done for cellu cellular regeneration. Uh, is it only within these pods, or is this something that could actually be harnessed and um, used elsewhere, like um, compactable? Oh god, the healing bomb. It's something that could be used elsewhere. I mean, a lot of the technology that you're seeing in mm. these pods are what helped us develop the suit that Anton's wearing right now. Mm. And it helps us be able to manipulate and help contain genetic manipulation and sometimes even um, instant malformations in the body. It's quite incredible. And it could save a lot of lives and end just as many. The applications are truly outstanding. But this, of course, requires the Callisto 6 energy source. Yes, which is why it's great that you're all here. Are they gonna try to use this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do they do? Do I, do I activate liquefaction on all of them? Dr. What do I do? Blair, what do I do? would you like to continue your tour? Of course. Great. Um, if you follow me, um, Please back down this way. way. I think we're fucked. <laughs> um, he begins moving down, yeah. um, and he's like, but what you can tell, most of these are essentially the same genetic and cellular mutations that we've been attempting for the past three years. Then why uh, do it with such a large sample size? Well. If you have such limited reagent. Because every time we use, every time we create one, we learn something new. The ones in the back, in particular, have yielded extraordinary results. How far back do these bodies go? How long have you been taking bodies? Well, I, 
I would say maybe f eight to nine years now, I suppose. It's a lot earlier, a lot later than uh, some of the earlier attempts. Were you wasting time in the interim? I don't believe in wasting time. But I Yeah, do. you know what? Me neither. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> uh, I thought I was giving you a tour. Yes, Dr. Blair is giving us a tour. We're, we're, we're learning the information. Oniko was nice enough to agree to chaperone us at this level of Cassium, so we are continuing the tour. You mentioned the back, the more feral. Um, Experiments? M Luma, you, mm -hmm. I would say you and Anton being the social perception people. Yeah. Go ahead and make an intellect roll. Mm -hmm. This is descent's motive on this guy. Oh, um, <laughs> that actually does get descent. That's exactly. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's um, the I think we're all kind of because I've just been standing no. here no. seething, no. which is yes. great for my character. I was gonna say, which is really added to the only uh, yeah. mystique. I haven't taken my once the once I looked up from the pot, I haven't taken my okay. eyes off of him. Uh, difficulty is five. Okay. <sighs> what? 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 Yep. It's just the one for me. Yeah, it's just the one. Yeah. Um, so it's a level four for me. Do you have anything? I don't think I have anything. Um, understanding help. with fast tongue, inter interaction skills, I would say that that would help at least something, right? That gave you public speaking and public presumably speaking. one other social skill. I have public persuading. speaking and persuading. So those were the two interaction any? skills that you mm -hmm. took and not discerning disposition. Gotcha. So, yeah. so, but got. it is kind of in your field, so if you want, I'll let you. Probably have some edges. You, you can spend Yeah. Uh, I just think it's appropriate that Anton would know, because you, yeah. as somebody who's in public you're relations, you're really good yes. at getting reads on people. Yeah. So I would yes. let you. I would say the two of you get to roll, before I have okay. everybody else make a roll. Okay. Difficulty is five. If you want to spend effort, go ahead. I'll spend. I'll spend effort. Good point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna risk a twelve. Knock that down. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Seventeen. Seventeen. Luma knows. Four. I'm he real scared. Is trying to get you as far away from the elevator mm -hmm. as he can. He's been leading you guys deeper into this complex, and it's starting to occur to you mm -hmm. that he is trying to put as much distance between you and the exit route as he yeah. can. It just clicks, Luma. The way he keeps carrying on, there's something yeah. about his speech patterns that you're realizing he's actually, even though Lace is engaging do. him, he he's doing what you do. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. doing a walk and talk, and he's yeah. and he's getting, there was a split second there where Cass almost forced his hand, but you were yeah. suddenly getting an idea that he knows he's on borrowed time, and you smell it on him, and he stops and looks at you for a second. I just give a quick smile as if to say, continue the tour. Okay. Tell um, me when he turns around. He turns his back. I want to run and grab him in a neck hold and turn my shield He's off. seven feet okay. tall. <laughs> you can grab him in a neck hold. Feet he's, he's seven feet tall. He's seven feet tall, too. Seven Honestly. Then I jump on his back yeah. and grab him I around the throat. Say, <laughs> it's really... Yeah, you have an acrobatic. Seven, yeah, feet, seven feet's pretty tall, but a hop will do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I hop and I want to, like, grab him by the throat and whip him around to so face Cass's face. I'm going to give you two bonuses to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Whew. Yeah, because it's a surprise, so he's going to okay. be at a difficulty, so his difficulty drops to three to do this to him. Okay. So go ahead and make the roll. Okay. I expect it. <laughs> like, he's seven feet tall! <laughs> so this, you said it was a three? Uh -huh. A little bit taller than B. Dave okay. Walter, so that's that. pretty fucking uh, tall. Yeah. He's fucking tall. This is a... Uh, well, he's like, yeah, you're not he, bad. Is, no. he is yeah. NBA. Yeah. So it's just seven feet yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. He's just nine. Yeah. yeah. It was like the one. Spend I'll spend. I'll spend might on, I'll spend on, might on this. Are his knees all messed up? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So that's all the wise. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually think that through, but yes. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I just meant I could reach them. He's I mean, super tall, so <laughs> he might have. He might have bad knees. knees. <laughs> that's what or we're trying back. to say. His back. His okay. back might be in trouble. Success. Success. Okay. You leap up onto his back, and you guys watch as Luma gracefully just oh, leaps Oniko. up. Oniko. <laughs> Oniko leaps up and immediately wraps her arm around this guy's throat, and he just goes back like this. Tours up. Fuck. <laughs> he just, <laughs> um, and oh. he just goes. <laughs> I need you to make a might check. Okay. Oh, Difficulty is seven. Okay. Oh, okay. Seven. Oh dear. Yep, might defense roll. Okay. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. The okay, well, speed we got defense. We got you. What a oh. normal human. <laughs> so I don't get to use speed defense for this. Nope, this is a might defense roll. This is just, I don't think I have anything that'll apply uh, to this. Is she rolling defense or don't is blow health she pool. rolling? No. She's, she's rolling defense. Yeah, I think this is might a... difficulty well, is oh, possible. I mean, there's yeah. a point to yeah. roll, yeah. I just lose. <laughs> yeah, or you spend three of your limited might pool and you're oh, still great, boned because you're rolling against 18. That's a 15% chance of success. No. Mm. No. Uh, I accept whatever he does to me. <laughs> you are going to take five points of damage to your speed. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. You that immediately sense. feel, the moment your arms wrap around him, you begin to feel a tingling sensation in your arm, oh, and then no. a wave of ills, like this sickness, begins to wash over you. And you feel your arms kind of weaken for a second. Um, <sighs> You guys all notice that as Luma has done this, the air around him kind of becomes wavy and the smell of cinnamon oddly begins to fill the air. As you've wrapped your, you, the, the area around your arm begins to kind of weaken a little bit and you drop off of his back just. Don't touch him. <clears throat> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> Luma, Talk to the rear. Wave, a wave of dizziness Luma. and dis, and just, you uh. are, you just feel from your head to your toe like okay. a sickness, a feverish sickness enter your, into your body for uh, a second. Drop shape as I collapse into a Luma puddle. Uh, <laughs> Luma puddles, not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> stand whenever there's a chance. Yep, yeah. same. Um, it's initiative time, everybody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is initiative time. What is this the is difficulty? A- Difficulty is five. So, All right. Don't yeah. die, my honey. Uh, no. Minus two, so nope. three. No, 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 minus two, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Difficulty, sorry, you said five? Difficulty's five. Five, okay. <sighs> I'm spinning an XP to roll that. <laughs> mm-hmm. three, I did not two. request recording chick glasses this time. Three. Might have been a mistake. Nine. There we go. Success. Ooh, hoo, hoo. hi. Bummer. Ooh, good. this makes good success. success. Also success. Good. Thank you, Lord. Right. Ooh. Thank you, initiative. And all the data with five, you said? Five. Mm-hmm. I get to learn. Thank God. So what do you guys plan for your backup characters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's... It's cool? I'm sure. I'm, I'm, sure I'm it is. real yeah. excited about it. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Just so that we all are on the same page. It's okay. a cleric. Did we all get it? <laughs> great, great, great. There was a I'm actually good. really good focus for... No. <laughs> What'd you get? Works now. We're, uh, ex- yeah. ex- 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 oh my gosh! Let's Success. Go. We'll, yes. we'll start here. Failure. Failure. Who, who succeeded? So you three. You All right. It. So then. No. So then you three. Um, which order would you like to go in? Because you're going to beat him. Uh, Who wants to go first? I, well, my initiative reaction was going to be to step in front of Lou and go toys over. <laughs> yes. So who wants but, to go first? Uh, I have a feeling you Cass, would. I want Cass to go. Yeah, <laughs> unless okay. unless okay. you're gonna actually listen to Luma when you say don't touch him. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> right. oh, no, there are a lot of heavy well, things, I'm sure, in this place that, that can be thrown. There's a, there's a variation <laughs> uh, that might pull okay. from a wall. And... Tell me how. <laughs> here's what I want to do. Well, hold on. I just okay. need to know who's going first, and then I need to know who's Cass. going second. Great. I will probably go second. Yeah, and then I'll go third. Okay. I'm the, I'm the web him up guy. I'm mm-hmm. hanging back. Yeah, web, web him up. You can't touch thing. <laughs> him. This is fine. Okay, so people going after Jerome. Who's going next? I could go. We can just decide it. Okay, cool. So you're going to go after that? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so you're going to go next. So that's going to be... Get the tablet to Lacey. And then... Both of you do I'm get, I don't who, need to do it with my brain. Of the two of you, who's going next? That's true. Um, um, I will say I I'll go last in the rotation of whatever's okay. happening because of my Your just state? immediate like okay. hindrance. Yeah, and control right. boy over here would normally like to go as close to the top as possible. <laughs> and, oh yeah, Alas, Matt, that requires here. initiative. All right, so here we go. Cass, what are you yeah. doing? Okay, uh, here's I don't know the layout, but here's what I'd like to. Uh, it's just do. a big hanger, right? It's just a yeah. You guys are about two hundred feet away from the door now. Okay. I want to rip one of these goddamn pods off and hit him with it. Is what I want to do. Okay. Oh, yep. True, true, true. Oh, that's going to require. That's probably going to take an action to rip one of these things up. Um, and I'll set the difficulty. That's going to be rough. Um, I'm going to set the difficulty for that at eight. 
That is a heroic. You're tearing. You're tearing this thing free of the steel and the and the metal that's holding it into place and ripping it off the wall. Once you do that, this thing will be a big ass weapon to throw. You know who Cass is the smart one. Yeah. <laughs> Difficulty is eight. Do it. Eight. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of different types of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yep. That's what Nori's parents always say. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Difficulty eight is classified as heroic. It is a task worthy of tales told for years afterwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. No one tells tales of tales. <sighs> Yet. Come on. Dark web tales. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Difficulty eight. I'm gonna guess this is a strength task. It's a strength task, yes. <laughs> Just checking. This is totally in your wheelhouse. Mm-hmm. Down mm-hmm. to seven. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Formidable. I have, I think, I two shifts yep. in strength. Yes. Although oh, I seem down to, to have six. written this. Okay. In two down. strength? No, so, so, yeah. Roll it's level six. Uh. And I don't think anything else is. You can spend. Is it an unarmed attack? You can spend XP, or not XP. Uh, okay, effort. just checking. Effort. Um, uh, effort will yeah, happen. Burn now. effort. Mm-hmm. Down uh, to five. Challenging. Do it. Do it. I can spend two levels of effort. Okay. Two levels down yes. to four. Difficult. Which the, are the guidance wow. for a level four uh, uh, difficulty is? It is a tale as old as time. Okay. Oh, weird. That's what you get. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've dropped this down to level four. That's mm-hmm. a, yeah. Twelve or better. <laughs> so it's a fifty-fifty. So just yeah, roll. Twelve or better. Okay. I look him in the eye, and I really wanted to go straight for him, but I heard what you said at the last minute, and just, heck with this place, heck with these, heck with you. <laughs> Why are you censoring yourself? I don't know, I feel weird about it. Oh. Oh. Reroll. Because I'm not oh. swearing. Can I give an XP for a reroll? Yes, you can. Oh. 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 Oya, Oya senses you're in danger. Friend. Off in the distance. <laughs> Actually, yes, Oya would sense yeah. that y'all yeah. were in danger. Mm-hmm. And she says Oya a little would, prayer for you. Oya would totally sense oh. that Uma just got a hit. Oh. Taking my hands into this thing. It hurt. Show me what you got, Cass. Fuck this. 20. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's because you swore. To be precedent, you just established without really bad words. It is. I'll let you hit him with it this round. Oh, you're fucking yeah! <laughs> the look look of, yeah, oh, yeah. The look of <laughs> Stunned shock on his face. You guys have seen Cass do some pretty crazy shit with her strength. Yeah. She rips this entire cylinder right out of the wall. You can hear the tearing and groaning of the metal, just its death throes as she tears this thing up. Bolts and sparks flying everywhere as the electrical cords just rip free. She takes this thing, your fingers digging into the steel, tearing this out from the wall, and you see Jerome just go. Like, at a loss for words, and then he just goes, magnificent, and you throw it at him. Um, (laughs) Make your attack. This is going to be considered a heavy weapon, so it's going to be doing six points off the bat. Oh, Oh my God. I tried adding my bonuses to a heavy weapon. (laughs) (laughs) Just glee. Uh, So... Is that a plus six? That's how much extra damage happens. <laughs> um, because of the strength shift. Yep. Uh, Plus three for each one. So the, what's the difficulty on this? Difficulty is five. Okay. Uh, Are you proficient in heavy weapons? I think I'm auto, like I think as a warrior. Okay. I didn't write that down. I uh, because right. I never use weapons. Fair enough. <laughs> you are the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Be the dumpster. Be the dumpster. Be the dumpster. Be the dumpster. Uh, you said five. Five. I'm gonna take it down to a three. Okay. Please work. Okay. So you need a six or better to hit this guy? Or is it, no, nine, nine, or, better. Better. nine or better. Nine or better. Nine or better. That was so good. Oh yeah, you can use any weapon. That's super dope. <gasps> what did I get? Oh, 17! 17. <laughs> Extra damage! That is yes! So an added point of damage. Yeah, instead of 11, it's 13. Oh, I need mean, dead. One? 14. Plus 14. one, 14, 14. points. 14 and points of damage, please. Holy. Did we just wow. wow. walk out of the Thank room now? Like, <laughs> we have a cast. <laughs> wow. It just slow mo flies above me with his body, just. <gasps> Magnificent. I finished so. it. <laughs> Just like put my rod away, going okay. Well, that okay, was good. this thing smashes into him, and he goes behind. He vanishes behind it. Um, 
as this thing sails down the hallway and rolls over the top of him. It comes rolling to a halt. The window oh, shatters I, open. What's up? I made a might attack. Okay, you know what? I'll ask my questions later. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so he, this thing rolls over the top of his impacts on the ground and rolls over the top of him. The window shatters and, a, and like a body comes rolling out of it as well, flopping onto the ground. This thing has multi limbs all over it. Oh. It's naked. Whatever it was is very difficult to tell. You know that it started as a human being. You have no idea what it is now, but it kind of rolls to the ground and flops. It's either dead or unconscious and it's still in stasis. Chances are one or the other, but he is laying still on the ground. Um, he's probably about 10 feet away from you guys now. Your ears are ringing from the sounds of the shrieking metal being torn free and the impact of this thing hitting this guy. The explosion of violence uh, from Cass is, this is the, you've seen her do some pretty crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Cassie just I'm just crawling and trying to stand up. Thanks. Do a favor. Luma? Yeah. I need you to make a I need you to make a might defense roll. Oh, oh shit. God. Difficulty is 7. Am I poisoned? Fuck. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. No. Um no. Um, okay. As I'm as I'm doing as I'm like shaking, I I'm 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 like falling and something falls out of my pocket. And I and I see it, and I pick it up, and I stab myself with it. Okay. I'm I'm stabbing myself with a level five, uh, uh, basically enhancer. You're popping out your cipher. I'm popping my my, yeah. my my thing so that this difficulty reduces by three. Yes. Yes. Fucking brilliant move. Wow. Yeah. Because this is gonna go on every round until you succeed a might defense seven check. Fuck. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. So, so now it's four. Now it's four. So now it's four. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Ever you needed to roll. I'm off. gonna bust effort for this too. Okay. Then you, have, you um, can always burn an action on a heal or something. Exactly. Um, okay. So. So that gets you down so, to three. Oh, oh. I know. Okay. So I I stab myself, and you see me start to stand, and then immediately start to fall again. As the chemicals are fighting inside of you, whatever yeah. this guy had on his skin mm. has so infected your body. Um, three. It's a level three now. Okay. Better. You, or nine nine. or better. You got this. Nine or better. Eighteen. <laughs> Okay. Okay. As, um, as I, ca I catch myself, and then I feel the fluid inside your veins begin to burn away the poison. It. Yes, I was gonna say your your whole body is starting to like crumble from the adrenaline rush. Um, are you okay? Are you okay? I feel I feel fine. I feel great. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, yeah, um, you do. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're keeping initiative. Holy shit. Okay. This is amazing. This feels um, we're gonna go to the unless anybody has any other actions they want to do. Really quick, I wanted to look to Lace and go. Are all these pots connected on the same grid? Um, when I get to find out, I would really love to know that. You can find out now. Cool. We're we're gonna we're gonna oh, pause we're gonna in the room? initiative. Yeah. He's yeah. on the ground. He's Perfect. Not gonna, I'm not getting um, up for a minute. You gonna make yeah. a roll to find out? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead, and it's just you're using your sense checks here. Okay. Uh, so what would you say goes into that? Because we haven't done that. For so in, kind of since you're in the before. vicinity, I'm gonna say instead of saying a sense check, since you're in the vicinity, it's gonna be basically like a hack roll. You're gonna be trying to tap into the database okay. using your mind okay. to find out where the systems are connected and how they're connected. Like if all, all right. the pods are connected. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Hack roll. What's the difficulty of the check? Difficulty of the check is going to be, mm, uh, it's gonna be six. Okay. Um, I expend a point of effort. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. As you spend a point of effort, um, while this is happening, you guys watch Honey Baby just go and stand in front of Lacey, uh, putting itself between Lacey and the man that's on the floor about 12 feet away. Um, did you make your roll or did you just succeed? I, you spend I, it? My macro is five and I oh, okay, cool. get me a six. Um, yes, these are all interconnected to a single system, but they do have fail safes everywhere. There's about 12 fail safes on each <clears> side of the uh, of the hangar, operating all of these. There's 12 fail safes. And about that point, Lacey, you also hear in your mind, you also hear um, a bunch of systems going offline. And at the same time, you're feeling this as you're hacking the system. All of you can hear echoing throughout the chamber. Oh. Shield on, and I want to stand. I want to go and stand between the, the one elevator okay. and the rest of us. Sure enough, at the end of the hallway, you see pods going 
for popping open. Uh, can I quickly grab the wire that's that she pulled out that's active to I can put power back into it to keep all the things closed? Ooh. Um, where did she yeah. Shoot it? Yeah. yeah, that's, that's so cool. I'm like, oh crap, something from Persona to Power. I mean, there's a live wire. You can grab that. What are you exactly are you trying to do? Um, just I'm gonna, because basically what happened, why everything's shutting down is because you basically just ripped one off the wall and now it's like, it's like, it's like a, a light well, bulb on Christmas lights. One so of them's what did you do? Hops, I'm just gonna hold hops, on. You actually don't know why things are shutting down. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Good. you can, can try. You, right. you can yeah. try something, yes, absolutely. I'm gonna grab the live wire and see if, I don't know. I, I don't think draining energy will work since obviously that's already shutting down. Draining energy the, would probably power down everything. Yeah. You're adding energy to complete the circuits that yeah. I'm, so I'm feeling shut down. I'm adding energy to that. try and like reboot everything to keep all the doors shut. I don't okay. want all these dead bodies falling I'm going to say, I'm going to make that a spend, so I'm going to ask for three intellect points. Oh, God. You already <laughs> took some from me already. Oh, yes. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you grab a hold of this thing, and uh -huh. you just you all you all can hear the. It's like being close to a generator that's unprotected by any kind of like shell or casing, and you guys can feel again that slight smell of ozone in the air as Hops begins to charge the air around her. And you all watch the lights on all of the pods in the on this side of the hangar just light up, all the way down. Um, Lacey, you are aware that these things are starting to overload and malfunction. Crap. Um, and the ones at the end um, are really, there's no effect because as, right. as the- They've already. Uh, yeah, you actually are watching things crawling out of them now. Can I the fool the diagnostics of those things so that they don't think something's going wrong and so they don't have that activation? Not on the ones that have already popped, but on the ones that you say are sensing a yes. problem. Yes, and I'll let you use, you and, and here's the thing, because Hops is doing what she's doing, I'll let you use Hops' action as an asset. Fantastic. Yeah. Because uh, Hops, what Hops is doing is going to actually fool the system into yeah. thinking something is it's up. It's still powered, yeah. things are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, uh, what's the difficulty of the check? Di uh, to fool the system, I'm gonna put it again at six. Okay. So it's I spend a point of effort. Bam. Um, so Lacey, you, you're just kind of Lacey. sifting through in your mind and you see a, sort of like the uh, an overhead, you know, like a layout of the entire hangar area and all these pods. And you're watching the two at the end activate. Here's the thing, the ones at the end activating, it doesn't look like the system is doing it automatically. It looks like they were activated. Yeah. Um, the rest of them are, have been activated as well, but you stop it as the other like row of pods on both sides are about to activate and pop open. You immediately feed back into the system that everything is under control. You basically give the green light and restart the protocol. And fine. everything's fine. Don't worry. You everything's stop fine. Even this if the power place goes from out, everything is fine. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> However, <clears throat> at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I see him going uh, through his deck, so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Mm. I've got a shield up. At the end of the hallway, you okay. see eight of these things crawling down from their pods. <laughs> and you hear the screeching noises of these things. Some what of them the look like they're on all fours. Okay. Kind of doing that crazy, creepy well girl thing as they're kind of like coming toward. Mm -hmm. And as they all see you all moving, they start moving in your direction. Eight and of them. deja vu. Here we go. Yeah. As soon as I see that happen, I'm going to take off my uh, plasma rifle. <laughs> And aim at one, oh, yeah. one of them. Yeah. It's long one. range, um, but I do have a power can... shift in accuracy as well. Okay, um, go ahead and make nice. a shot. Then I'll, I'll give you one shot, and then after this round, actually, you if you want, if you guys want, because they're at range, they're between the two of you. If you want to ready for combat, because we're gonna jump back into initiative here. Mm. Um, actually, we'll need to re-roll initiative because these guys are different difficulty levels. And also, okay. it, it, l let me just. Pick up what you're putting down. The guy's out, right? He's not getting back up. They, We're not there would, yet. We, we would know. have to look at yeah. him. We're not there yet. Yeah. So, um, right. so what I'm going to say is, because their distance is 200 feet moving towards you guys, I'm going to give you two shots at them. Cool. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. before we roll initiative, go ahead and pop off two rounds on that plasma rifle. What's the difficulty level? Difficulty level on these guys. Oops, I just had my notes. Difficulty level on these guys is three. Three, so but it's long range. Yep. So and an accuracy power shift that brings it down to two. And I'm also going to I'm also gonna I'm I'm gonna give one I'm actually gonna you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a GM intrusion on you. Okay. Oh. Um, so um, are you gonna accept night. it? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Two XP. Give one XP to somebody else. Cool. I'm raising the difficulty level by another one. So long range. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna raise yes. it to four. Get an XP. Yeah. With yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. 
the four that smoke is. coming out of the side of the wall from Cass's tearing this thing up, coupled with the fact that there's already a mist moving through the area and it's low light. So I'm gonna raise it two more and I'm gonna put the difficulty for this shot at six at long range, just for the first shot though. Okay, the total is six. Total is six. So bring it down to five. Bring it down and to five. Do you want me to, is this a speed or intellect? or a Speed. Wanna, speed, okay. Yep. So um, I do have an edge in speed. Okay. And so I'll spend a point of effort to, right? Or no, I'll spend I'll spend two, two in my pool to bring so, it Oh, because you have an edge down. of one? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so bring it down. All right, so what's your total then? Four. Four. So then you need a 12 or better to shoot this thing. Uh, here, take an XP. I will use my own XP, oh. thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> you don't need your stinking XP. 14. Yeah. 14. Um, yes. This rifle bucks as you fire off a single <laughs> shot of plasma. There's a burst of heat near everybody as you see this thing. <laughs> Um, popping off this plasma bolt, you strike this thing. That plasma rifle does six points of damage. Cool. I had no idea. I have no idea what this does. It's a heavy, <laughs> it's a heavy rifle. Yeah, so it, it was six, someone else's. Six and... points of damage to one of them. There are many like it. I don't think it's set to stun. No. <laughs> they they don't they don't have stun. Nope. We checked. Oh yeah. Um, we did. Okay. And then for the second shot. You gonna shoot the same one or are you gonna aim? Uh, uh, how many are there? There's eight. So I'll do a different one. Okay. Yeah. You pick a different one? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this will be down to four? This one, uh, they're a little closer this time. I'm only gonna raise it by one, so four. Four? Yeah. Bring it down to three okay. for accuracy. And I will also, I'll spend two more points fly over there. to bring it down to two. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Slumber. These things are getting really loud as they close in. Oh, uh, how here, close to again, my head are you take, shooting? Take an XP of me. Yeah? For me, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not serious. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> Didn't help. Oh. <laughs> You're firing down. You hit one of them Fair. square in the chest as it's coming. You miss the other ones. This is just housekeeping, but is there time for an action as this is happening? Yes. I'm going to do a recovery roll. Just okay. Some points Go ahead. My, oh, my yeah, point yeah. Passing. So, Cass, you just <sighs> take a deep breath as you see these things coming. There's eight of them and a plasma shot to the chest didn't stop one. Can I'd it, love to pop my resonance field on this. Okay, awesome. yes, totally. You guys can, can all suit up. Like, yeah. if I like I one also, point, not one well, point, all pass. Open up. <laughs> oh man. 26 plus, um, wanna get two points back. Can I also do the same thing as just my like standing here feeling the yeah. drugs circulate through <laughs> my body? Now how long does that last? That lasts for this whole scene easily, right? Oh, uh, that's the combat, that's it's dim. That's a yeah. different cipher. Yeah, yeah okay. not the combat enhancer. That means I just get th free effort for the rounds. Uh -huh. This one was just one task, one it's lowered by, it's one big like, Man, was you that, feel great. Uh, that yeah. is why ciphers are awesome. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, they keep Luma safe. <laughs> that this is the whole purpose. really was helpful, I was down, I'm just. The energy shield is just humming with anticipation Ooh. as you kind of get ready for this attack here. Um, huh. Who else? So, the other people that have range right now is Sweet Honey and mm -hmm. you, Hops. Oh, you, crap. Anton technically is gonna have range, but they have to enter into <laughs> short. He has to range. Yes. He has range for any range. They have to go to medium, because then I can do a short attack well, at medium range. That's, oh. what my, that's what my stretchy can do. I think it's short range, because short range is- Your immediate attacks range. can be done from to, short, to 50 feet up away, to short range. Yeah, up to short yeah. range, which is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, short range is actually pretty, that's, that's like that's okay. essentially like throwing a throwing star at somebody or something. You know, the short range is actually not up front and <laughs> close. Cool. So, um, so Luma, you have the option of, of yes. striking at one of these things, uh, or what? Not when, Do when I they know. get close. When they get close. Okay. But, I was like, they're not in range, and I just took time to heal. So I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, would, tell me. Okay, cool. No, you're good. I didn't know if that was before initiative or after initiative. We're about tell to me. get to that, but I'm gonna okay. give Ops a free shot at these guys. Yeah, great. Like, if I let go of this wire, is everything gonna shut down? No, but no. what you can do is if you want to send a lightning blast at these guys, yeah. you can use the wire as an asset. Ha! <laughs> 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 You're basically channeling electricity. Because I don't want to let it go, because I don't want all the this possible. Is like I cleared when, the diagnostics, when, it's okay. That's okay. like when Thor was fighting Iron Man and then Thor hit oh, yeah. the lightning and then huh. he was like 300%. How about that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was a great moment. Right. Nice. I love that Joss incorporated that into it. Um, I guess I got my staff in this and what's the difficulty? Uh, normally it's three. <laughs> I don't have to roll. Okay. Because <laughs> staff attack is negative two difficulty if I use this asset. For one, so, yep, that's right. this, so you're I'm zero. just gonna aim at the one What's that the he damage? missed. At the one Honestly, that he missed. Some extra damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. Because that's worked in the past. Didn't work this time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's but I still so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. 
Boom! I'm holding the wire, shooting the lightning bolt, and and I won't kill Xander. And uh, eight eight points of damage. Eight points. Miss the mutant man. At the one that I missed. At the one that you missed. He's been on both. Sagas and we're alive, but I don't think I've ever seen him as afraid. Been this is the down. most afraid I've ever been. It's in our Cthulhu game that she played shortly after Madness. Yeah. Spoilers, Xander died. died. <laughs> My character died there too. Anyway, not here. <laughs> Sorry guys, sorry to spoil that for you. But yeah. the game's a year old, so. Yeah. Freaking... Okay, so, um, still, shouldn't have said it. <laughs> Um, no, I have eight points of damage. <laughs> eight points of damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, the smell of ozone, and again, a blinking lightning bolt. <laughs> you see the smoke rising up from this thing as, as this lightning bolt blinks in and out of existence, striking this thing. You see the immediate reaction as it seizes up and kind of topples forward for a second, and then kind of... <sighs> And like like scratches helplessly at the floor to get footing again, and then gets back up and starts ah, coming back down the hallway at you. Um, we're now gonna do initiative. We're re rolling for yeah, initiative. Going re rolling forward. initiative. Yeah. Okay, great. Wow, that's awesome. All right, what was the level again? Uh, yeah. Difficulty with this one. Yeah, this one is three. Yeah. On this one, the difficulty actually no, the difficulty on this is going to be five. 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 Oh, okay. Yep. Two. Balls. Okay. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, oh good that catch! Again. Thank you. Oh. Lacey. No, the never stop, never stopping. <laughs> but it's, different it's actually three for me, but I'm still gonna. <laughs> Fuck! Never. There we go. Actually, never start. Never start, <laughs> never <laughs> start. <laughs> All right, I needed a nine. <laughs> and I got a nine. All right. Okay. Um, All right. It's up to XP, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you really succeeded. Who succeeded? Okay, who would like to go? <laughs> it's the same. So, it's the same. So, pace. so pick your order. Who wants to go first? Well, I just shot pick him. Up the pace. So I have a feeling one of you two will have um, a Yeah, sure, I'll thing. go first. Okay, so Anton? Yeah. You're not going to like it. Oh. Oh. Are you okay, who, who, wants, who wants to go second? Go who wants to go second? Uh, Cass? Yeah, okay. Cass. And Cass. then I'll. We have Cass, Cass and Hobbs. I'll just shoot again. If, unless I have to hold on to this way. Um, so all right, then like who, the people, the people who didn't go would... Uh, I will be going last in the order due okay. to that uh, natural bad. Oh no. Did you roll one? Mm. No. Oh, oh no. no. GM intrusion. No. 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 Okay, anytime you roll a one, I can pop a GM intrusion. Yeah. Um, so um, I'll go next then. I think we'll okay. after from this one so far. So probably. And I, yeah, I can I can hit up last, just like walk, okay. just slowly walking towards them. <laughs> Cobalt, Luma, and then Lacey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And in the middle, some number of bad guys and or if that dog is dead. I don't yeah. Know. How many of them are? You're, eight. There's eight of them. Eight. Coming Cobalt, you can stop you're right stuff. beside me, right with That'd the plasma. Okay. Yes. So uh, I'm He's gonna let you go first, and I'll go after you. I'm gonna be walking alongside you with the shield. All right. As you're shooting. Sounds good. Cool. Um. All right. So Thanks. Cobalt, and then who's next? And then it's me. Okay. And, and then Lacey. And Lacey. And then whatever. And then someone will come in and change time. <laughs> okay. Um, hey. So. Straight up, Anton, what are you doing first? Hit me with some of the spatial relationships that are happening right now. Okay. Where are we? Bam. Where is bad guy? Where is other bad guys? How, we said we're 200 feet away from bad. the elevator? Yes, you're 200 okay. feet away from the elevator. Between you and the elevator are these guys who have now closed into short range. Ooh. And uh, behind you, 12 feet laying on the ground, is bad guy. Is Dr. Jerome Blair. Dr. Jerome Blair. Who is unconscious. Dr. 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 Snake venom. <laughs> Eric, the spice Sorry. is low. Um, you want to find out in cinema. <laughs> so, again, just to clarify, above game, we came here because we got a mission, and we were informed that this place may or may not, but it is, experimenting on <laughs> corpses, on dead bodies. Yeah. yeah. Well, right? uh, we wanted to free people if there were actual people being experimented on the side. That's what we came here for, gotcha. to free the so, real people. Yes, so there far, are, apparently there are, there are living people here, and also uh, could be incriminating evidence against Cassium here. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh -huh. So save people, get evidence. Yeah. Recon rescue. Recon rescue. Yeah. Anyone taking pictures with their magic contacts? <laughs> Anybody? Oh. I don't have any. Okay. There is, um, I, I will go ahead and give you this. There is the is data that? pad that he was holding that is clattered to the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His research notes. Can I just like kick that to Lacey? Which, and those are in grabbing distance for you easily, Anton. Oh, because I'm good, I'm oh, real great. grabby. I'm real good at grabbing. <laughs> You're grabby. You're a little grabby. grabby. Yeah. 
Uh, but only grabby. appropriately grabby, not inappropriate. <laughs> so, boom. The data pad has consent. It does, yeah. bam. It's yes, an inanimate it's... object, not a person. I'm gonna grab at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just reach, so, you look down and how, how far away is the data pad from like maybe wrong, five? Doctor. Oh, it, the data pad kind of like clattered. the data pad was left behind right. when he okay. went gotcha. scaling. Gotcha. <laughs> so the data pad kind of clattered to the floor. He was holding so, it and he just kind of dropped it when he was hit. So it's about okay. five feet away from you. Here's what I'm going to do then. I'm facing the door and the enemies that are, uh, like you said, making them charging towards, towards us, you guys. Charging yeah. towards us. I am going to reach towards the data pad. And then at the same time, I'm going to sort of stretch my neck up and turn around and keep my eyes on Dr. Blair. Okay. I'm just keeping my eyes on him as I take my action to do this, to grab this data pad. And then, of course, I'm going to get that chiz to Lacey. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what that stretch like it was move is happening. One of the like, sticky gummy hands that you just Exactly. Kind of like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, oh no. Fashion. Cast your next. <laughs> okay. Uh, how far away are they now? Uh, they're in short range. Oh, they're coming. Up. We should be getting to the elevator, y'all. <laughs> just, they're, just they're in the way. In the way. Oh, uh, they're walking the towards yeah. the elevator. Oh, that's where I'm confused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought. Oh, no, I would it yeah. take a part of my action to turn around and see if the doc is getting up? I've already got my eyes on him. You got? Oh yeah. yeah uh, this is roughly the map I have based on. Uh, the answer would be no. It wouldn't. It wouldn't take up. No. In that case, I, I, I will glance. Slip. You can glance that back. Yeah, he's on the ground. Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Shall we get the fuck out of here? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, uh, let's see. I think I can, if I roll for it, I can try to move and punch one. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have to do like a difficulty two mm -hmm. speed test. Uh, that sounds right. Um, to move and hit. Yeah. Test. To push it. We may not be able to leave right away. Do you remember what he said? The Callisto 6 energy, they have some. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, How thank do I God know? I only needed What's going one on? because I can move and I rolled a four. What is this? Um, can we return yeah, that one? Struts are making me hear things. That's not a twenty. Uh, I don't know. It does roll a lot of fours. What'd you get? Uh, I just barely passed the "Don't fall down trying to do this" check. Okay, good. Um, uh, and so you're charging up there to say hello, reach out and touch someone. Yeah, um, I mean, which, look is it me? So look. there are there are <laughs> there are two that have been injured, and they are leading the charge right now. And then there's a plethora of other ones. Okay, uh, gonna go ahead and you focus the boy down. Uh, what? Uh, I mm, okay. Pick, give me an injured one. Mm. Okay, so the difficulty, because they are attacking in two, in two groups of four, okay. difficulty is going to be four now. Okay. Um, so I will take that down one uh, and see if I do it. Eighteen! <laughs> wow. So you, picked which, yep. so you picked one of the injured ones? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't even matter which one you hit. So 18, you're gonna get a plus two, damage. Plus two damage bonus. 13 damage, please. 13 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Holy god. Um, yeah. damage, the and, air uh, that this thing gets as Cass just throws her entire body into this punch and crashes into the side of its face as she charges up there, sends this thing hurtling back in the opposite direction, the sudden direction shift of it charging and then going the other way, you hear a crunching sound as its jaw cracks and it goes unconscious immediately, flopping through the air, collapsing and rolling to the ground. It is done. <laughs> that is I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm sort of intimidatingly flourishing at the others. Yeah. As if it might somehow yeah, convince yeah. the zombies to run the other way. Scream at them. The ah! zombies look like ah! they're in a berserk mindless what? frenzy and they don't react. I did. They are they are slaughtering at the mouth and eager to destroy and kill and make You're testing um, the I, I, You did say that and I went Rawr! because that's the thing you specifically taught yeah. me to do while you were teaching. I was like, scream at them. Like, this yeah, feels yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> no, but it works. Like, it's Shotokan we call that Kia. Yeah. How to kill rats. So thanks, Antoine. So, uh, uh, so that was Cass, and now it's you, Hops. Uh, I, um, I guess I'm gonna, I can let go of this wire now, I'm Yeah, the juice is running out of this thing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge and get one of the ones that's coming at us. Uh, but before I do that, can I just be like, Lacey, find out if the, find out if the C6 energy is down here. We need to grab it if it is. 
Uh, so and if you're gonna try to get into melee range, you're gonna have to pull what Cass did and make a roll to get up front. But I am fast, so I can. Oh, that's move right. You get to do this automatically. Okay. Yeah. All right. So once again, Hops, you clear that Must distance. Nice. <laughs> little sparks on okay. the edge of your heels as you clear the distance Hit. effortlessly. You get up in front of the. Boy. So which one are you going through? There's one injured, one left, and then there's. I have the feeling the, the injured one, one of them can take out pretty easily. I'm going for ones that are like fully. Healthy? Out, uh, able right. body that are like coming full strength. You Go ahead, make your roll. The difficulty yeah. is now, it's going to be three. Okay. Yeah. Um, the able body. It's actually difficulty one with my staff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. You're not throwing it. It's melee. I made it. Four. Four. Wow. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> that Ooh, is all you needed. You needed a three. <laughs> so how much damage is that? Uh, eight. So. I'm going to uh give it a nice punch in the gut. With a nice electric. You slam the staff into this thing's gut and there's an electrical discharge. There's a popping sound that everyone can hear. This thing, you can hear the air leaving its nostrils and it does not go down. As you you see the popping sound, it goes And now it's in your face. Oh, crap. I didn't think this through. Also, um, I'm really sorry. I know this is not your choice to be this great thing. You know, and it goes, oh, no, say, it's okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Don't even worry yeah. about it. Yeah, I mean, we, your, your pod seemed cozy. You might it was cozy, but it's nice to be out. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, you, know, you have to And be that out. was a good hit. Oh, so, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> As reality His name breaks is down. That real? Is that in canon? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't know about the um, consistency of this world. <laughs> <laughs> no, this Eric is, unraveled as a GM. Come on, I want my coffee. We have coffee. I and love I think it. No. Oh, vicious. Oh, sorry. It was um, vicious. So, like so now it's my turn. Uh, oh. We've wrapped that up. I'm in. I'm activating that GM intrusion. So. This is all happening at once. Yeah. As everyone's breaking shit down and the punches are coming. You've grabbed the, the data pad. Cass, you've looked back as you're coming in and swing, you smash this thing across the face. As all of this is happening, Anton, as your head swivels back behind everybody um, and to see where the where the Jerome is, he's right next to you. Damn it. No! Ooh. It's my GM intrusion, I'm activating it. I'm he's, right next to him. Huh? Him. He's right next to Jerome. He is right up next to everybody. He has gotten up, and as y'all have turned around and looked, he is there. And I there by Anton, or there by all of us separately. Well, you are up with yeah, Hobbs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you are actually, this wasn't but he is, he is essentially, just, he is essentially about to pull a Reaper in Overwatch, uh, <laughs> where you have fallen. It's, it's, it's where you get into a crowd and pop your ultimate, and it gets bad. So it, it's, it's let me explain. <laughs> as he's standing there next to Anton, he's got blood. Like caked between his teeth for where he got hit. Um, his face looks torn and bashed in, and you can see cuts on his scalp and like bruises starting to form all over him. I see all this because when I stretch my neck, I basically got myself seven feet tall, and then as I turn around, he's, <laughs> right. he's like, right there. Oh. <laughs> um, and he just goes <sighs> and exhales. He opens his palms and just. <sighs> What a new um, human. I need everyone. <laughs> everyone? Everyone? Everyone. I need Fuck. Luma. I need Lacey. I need Anton. And I need Cobalt. Um, <laughs> you all need to make a level seven might check. Oh, no. You guys. <laughs> Don't die. Oh, that is, that's uh, formidable. About that. I bet you you're having a lot of visions right now going, oh, crap. I'm oh, crap. Oh, freaking crap. out. <laughs> Um, so, <coughs> Sweet Honey, unfortunately, had turned its attention towards the immediate danger of the oncoming worlds around just in time to see this happening as well. Um, let me know if you can make that mic check. It is difficulty seven. Oh, no. Well, I will expend a pointless level of effort to even attempt the roll. Yeah, I'll do the same. The literally most pointless. But I'll have to spend three because I don't have edge in my... Same here. Oof. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm a squisher boy. <laughs> You're all so squishy. Mm -hmm. huh. Can Oya sense that? I don't even have. Is it oh yeah, Oya knows that shit is going down somewhere where it's, they it's, are. It's just going down. You. Okay. Like, is there any down. anything Oya can do to like leave? Or Not even roll. We're gonna well. intercut to you after this that's round of combat. Okay. But I hate when I roll that's well. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> No, that's bad. No, that's bad. That's not a <laughs> you still think um, you're on the Sally ride, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you that guy? Like, you can possibly yeah. be sad when you see the communicator come yeah. up. Oh, I was yeah. like, he got a critical are, hit. Are you rolling your Star Trek? Oh, dice? yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why my brain was so excited. 
They're Dude, still programmed. He got a crit success. You get in that one. Adventures. <laughs> Starfleet really Not in this fuck game. me over. <laughs> wow. Cool. Um, I got so excited. Yeah, me too. I legit. Me too, I, legit I need you to make a second might defense roll. Oh. Me? Difficulty seven. Can I do mm, what I just did to, <gasps> to drop it down again? Goddess. Out of Goddess <laughs> among mortals. <laughs> Luma Orsini rolled an 18. <laughs> I've been fucked with this guy already. I ain't having it again. Your sight is still flowing through. It's you. Not, yeah. yeah. I, I could. I, I, I can't I not can't really metabolize the I'm crap out of that. Yeah. Down to four. But like, yeah. come at me, bro. To make this easier, yeah. you still nice. don't have much of a chance, and he's gonna take out of those thin pools that like we need. To You're gonna have to with. carry him out. Um, okay. we'll Statistically, do. having just rolled a one, the odds are that I'm gonna roll a twenty. Pretty good. Uh, I, <laughs> the same as they always are, Hector. Huh? <laughs> this will be more than a 15. No, it's not. It's another fail. Okay, so everyone who failed, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is, is you're not it's going to take the damage per round. Cool. That uh, that apparently only oh, that day. only. Uh, however, everyone who failed the roll is going to take seven points of damage <gasps> to their speed. Thank. Oh. Oh no. Mm. Oh. Okay, Hector, did everyone fail but me? Yeah. yeah. Seven points of damage to your speed, and Anton, yeah. you pass out. Huh? I think I do too. No. Oh, oh no, no. no. Okay. Just me. You're down to zero. Speed is Just, down to zero. You botched your defense roll, so I yeah. did GM intrusion that pops into that. Oh, fuck. Is you have to make a second roll, according to the sheet. You have to make a second roll, and if you fail it, you go unconscious for the remainder of the fight. <gasps> Correct. Oh, no. oh yeah. Just pop oh yeah. Under damage. So you turn around just in time, and he exhales poison in your face. Yeah. You're Everyone nice. sees Anton just <laughs> immediately topple back. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, he has the sense to keep hold of the data pad, but he blacks out. You watch his body go back into a he normal gave, form. Lacey has it. Oh, you have it. Yeah. So you go back into a normal form, Anton, and crumple to the ground. <sighs> what happened to you? I'm just out of speed. Okay, then you're then you immediately go into one level. So now impaired, right? you're impaired. So now all of your rolls, you you do not get you do not get critical hits or anything. You only just get a bonus of plus one. <sighs> And if you spend effort, so. it costs one extra. Yeah. How it's far am I away from Hector, and can I get to him? Uh, so you are short ranged. So and you, I just used our action. So we're screwed. That and Did that we? is just him. Now they're going. Oh <laughs> crap! Okay. So oh, yeah. yeah, I have an idea, but let me get attacked by all these monsters. Yeah, first. you gotta get you attacked by these happen. monsters first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, hops. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna put. Bring it on. But can we say that we both look back and kind of eye contact as we were yeah. like, ah! Yeah, okay. you guys can all see that. Yeah, I think it's like we're gonna start tag team and something. Okay. Meanwhile, Hector's just going to have a nap. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what's actually about to happen. Get high. <laughs> we could use some yeah, honeybee help. 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 Commit if, to the If myth. honeybee wants to jump in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, um. You can have my brain. You can have here come. I need you to oh, make a defense true. roll. Me? Okay. Hops. Speed De defense? Yeah, speed defense Ooh, difficulty good. is four. Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to lower that to two. Okay. And then. <laughs> I think that's good. I got it. I did it. <laughs> okay, so a swarm of these guys start attacking Hops, and you dance between their claw strikes. They're coming at you as two of them are trying to gang up on you. You manage to sort of get out of the way. You're able to keep one step ahead. You can feel yourself moving faster than you've ever moved before. And I'm start, doing the Lindsay begin, Hop. You're beginning to feel the Callisto power energy just like coursing through you as you're seeing the strikes coming before they hit. Uh -huh. You manage to get out of the way. So now it is going to be Cobalt. I need you to make a defense roll. Difficulty is three. Okay. okay. Um, mm, 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 I do, yeah, so it'll so bring it, it down to one. one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or to, no, I've yeah, only trained. Lo lowers down to one. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm just really excited. I know you are. I'm sorry. Uh, so I need a six or better. Relatable. And I make it. Okay, this thing swipes at you and you just raise your hand up as you move out of the way and this thing goes right through your hands and just. Oh, <sighs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I got excited. <laughs> one of the eight that's attacking him, right? Yeah. What? What's that? Six. No. One of the one of the, the zombies is attacking him. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Zomboys. Um. So that's gone. Uh. Next cast. There's two on you, trying to gang up on top of you. So the difficulty here, defense rolls are four. Okay. As these things are coming down on you. Remember what I taught you. Dry. I don't know what I taught you, but just remember that it was really useful. Marshmallow. Go. Marshmallow. 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 Uh. I take it down to a two. Um. Think marshmallow, because you're gonna give him some more. 
<laughs> 14, it worked. <laughs> you guys, you just raise your arms. This thing is, it looks like it's got these bony knuckles and as it comes and it impacts on your forearms, does not move you at all. Bam, it's like hitting this big thick wall of meat, just does nothing happens. The other one claws at you, but you manage to dodge out of the way just as this thing comes raking past you in the air. And next is gonna be Lacey as one of these things launches over its brethren and comes charging at you. Sweet Honey immediately goes into like a football stand, like a linebacker, and difficulty is three. Okay, um, that's down by one, so, uh, uh. Oh, wait, um, I, I make it. That's, because you got your, your power thing up, right? Uh, I had that up, which would have put me down by two, which right. is distinct from my asset on speed defense. Okay. Uh, so I would have needed to roll a three. I rolled a 12. This thing jumps at you to claw, and Sweet Honey just <laughs> gets down in front of it, and the claws rake harmlessly across the steel plating on Sweet Honey's chest, and it just stands there. <laughs> you are welcome, Operator Lacey. <laughs> um, next up is Luma. <laughs> Okay. Oh, just co- do you get skipped? Oh no, this is attacking you. This is oh, it's attacking, attacking you. me. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, so not. So I need you to make a, I need you to make a speed yeah, defense roll. Attack, honey. What's it? Uh, speed defense roll is three. Um, I defend immediately. Okay. <laughs> so Superheroes, another one y'all. comes near, and Superheroes. I stand in front of you, and I just give you a quick smile. Of, Watch this. Um, this thing goes, as it comes down on top and just burn. You basically smack this thing in the face of the shield and kind of rings its bell for a second. God, I'd I like to that I see that and I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. Um, it's all lacy. <laughs> back at Blue Dolphin Base. That's the end of that combat. No. Uh, no. No. I have an idea. Back at Blue Dolphin Base. Oh, um, Oya, you're sitting here focusing on this wound and you feel this. I, uh, triggering words here, but it's basically like that feeling you get right when you know you're about to have a panic attack. You feel that sort of like, that sensation, that ice that kind of creeps up between your shoulder blades and that sensation of adrenaline beginning to course through you, your heart rate rising, and you begin to realize that all of your companions are fighting in for their lives right now. And Sal's looks at you and goes, okay. No, not okay. Um, I'd like to do something. What would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to roll for premonition. Okay. Um, and so that gives me, I can learn one random fact about a creature or location that is pertinent to, to a topic you designate. Okay. I, I want to uh, learn about who's hurting them. Make your roll. Um, the difficulty of this is going to be, di- I'll put it at four. It's difficult. Okay. So, um... I get it for, it costs two intellect, but I have a two intellect edge. Oh, so it's not a roll. Yeah. Oh, then. It, it, is it oh, a roll? Yeah. Uh, usually, it's a power, as like right? a it's roll a of thumb. It's a power. It's yeah. a like, so you just burn, if you're doing this like, against someone who doesn't want it done to them, no, it's a roll even. No, 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 it's a but something like that tends to go. So you purchase it? Do it. All right, so yeah. how much does that cost you? It costs me two, but I have a two intellect edge. Okay. So it's free. Plus one. She knows things. Um, so she you. Thumb, she knows things. So Oya, your face kind of drops into this serious mask as you begin to peer through space and time for a moment. And Sal sees this change come over you and the aura begin to emanate around you, that reddish, purplish kind of glow that happens when you tap into your power. And he just goes, and he starts backing away. And Oya, you begin to see the ripple of space time begin to fun, just like tunnel in front of you. and. Almost like it is when you view through like a bug's eyes, you see these mirrored reflections begin to pop up all around you, happening simultaneously of all these possible futures. But all of them are fading into a single future as decisions and choices and actions and consequences are beginning to play out in real time. What would you like to know? Um, I, I want to know how to hurt the people who are hurting them, or how to stop the people who are hurting them. It's really broad. Okay. Um, so you need to like. Okay. Um, uh, you could ask something like, "Are they going to get out alive? Are they like? Are how? Is there anybody else that's that's there that they don't know about? Like things like that. Mm. Is there anyone there to help them? Like that kind of thing. Um. Yes. Mm. There actually is someone else um, in the facility. However, they are um, currently on one of the higher levels. You begin to like, here's, here's the sensation you get. You begin to feel the sensation sort of come through. 
and you begin to move away, you can kind of see the combat happening in front of you. And one of the sensations you get as you're watching the combat is they're in mortal danger. But you also get the sense that the tide of the battle is changing in their favor right now. Like it's they're in they're in they're in the first real grave danger they've ever been in. But you're actually beginning to see the tides of fate begin to shift as their opponents and the the momentum of their destiny is getting stronger in this area. They're winning is what you sense. Um, Looking for any other like possible aids. You begin to feel a strange pull to one of the higher levels. And before moments pass, you begin, your senses begin to literally glide through the earth, through stone, through bone, through root, until you come to one of the other levels in this. You're not sure which one it is, but your senses begin to focus on one of these canisters, one of these pods, this large pod that looks very similar to one of the ones that was in the downstairs area, except for this one is a little different. It doesn't look like it has a window. It looks like it's completely enclosed. And unmistakable on this pod, you see the symbol of Callisto 6. There's another one of us. And all these signs warning do not open, essentially. Danger. Um, oh, we're gonna open it. And we have to stop for our break. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah! It's break time. Welcome back to Callisto 6, the show where Sam threatens to light me on fire before we go live. Did anyone hear that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't think, I, I don't think that happened. My ear. visor isn't set to record, so I can't review the <laughs> yeah. quickly, I think the line was, I will set you on fire, Campbell. I think that's, I think what, that's what they said. Yeah. That's what I heard. I think you were talking about soup. Um, so. I, I do burn soup. That's the thing that I do. <laughs> I burn soup, too. <laughs> The Campbell, the, the Campbell clan of Scotland is, uh, we may share our name, but we, it doesn't necessarily mean we're good at making soup. They famously um. throw it off of mountains, resulting in the panted Campbell Kiffhanger. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> with that. Slowly my face just keeps breaking. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we are going to jump back into our situation right now. Um, situation. So we're going to leave. We're leaving Oya for a second and getting back down to the sub level twenty of this calcium genetics lab. Twenty-four. Was that no twenty? Twenty. 20. This one. I wrote down twenty-four. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. May have been twenty-four. I don't know. You may have just, I'm pretty sure it was twenty. More. Can we get back into character. <laughs> yeah, Nailed so it. we begin with Anton okay. Unconscious. Um, right now, we are at the point in the round where Cobalt, you are next. Yes. You've seen that Jerome is standing. He has just exhaled poison in the area. Everyone is coughing and gagging and feeling nausea as it just washes over. That smell of cinnamon is actually turning into a sick ammonia smell. And everyone is just breathing in, is coughing and gagging. <sighs> um, your eyes are starting to tear up in water and burn as he's just exhaled all of this poison into the area. Okay. What are I'm, you doing? I'm going to activate my resonance field uh, because... That's your action, right? That's my action. Okay. It costs one intelligence, but now I can use my intelligence score instead of my might score for defend- defense rolls. Okay. Ooh. Handy. Okay. Ooh. Handy when you're having to make defense rolls for yeah. might Hilarious. against this guy. Mine was already active. Mm. Oh, was yours right. already active? Yeah, I made that check. Okay, that was a good thing to have remembered in the future. Then retroactive that, because that would have caused, if you would have made that check, then don't take the damage. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, so get seven back to your might. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Yeah, Mm -hmm. Um, because it makes sense. If there's a force field up and it's not getting through and you would have made the check, and of course, Sam, we've been gaming together for what, a year and a half now? (laughs) Almost two years, about two years? I, I, I trust you. I trust you. I shouldn't, I shouldn't trust you. Sam breaks things. Um, okay. All right, so Cobalt, you activate that thing. You just instinctively come up as you begin to, now is it, it's not tech, it's actually you no. phasing a little bit out of reality, correct? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you like immediately become somewhat transparent and people are if looking hard enough at you, you can like see right through you. And this poisonous gas just kind of begins to filter through you as Ooh. opposed to affecting you. Um, next up is Luma. Yeah, okay, uh, neat trick. Yeah. What has there anyone around me that has been injured? Uh, um, already, the whole party has taken a good. Not us, enemies. Not the enemies. Oh yeah, there is actually an this enemy. This round, I want to know. There is an enemy that's still standing that is attacking. Um, is the poison effect? Is there anyone in immediate range that has been attacked? This We're far. No. But no. No. The the ones the only wounded the only wounded beast that is still standing. There's two of them and they're both attacking hops. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can still double up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think they were hit this round, so they should get the opportunist. It's just uh, Jerome does not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I would like to charge at uh, one of the ones that uh, was injured already. Okay. Um, and attack. Okay, moving up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I just want to step into their immediate they've range. They've been coming of, closer, and they've attacked us. I'm going to say they're attacked already. Yeah, so yeah, someone. but hop, so hops the hop, so the ones that are attacking yeah. hops are the ones that are injured. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hops okay. charged then forward I'll, to meet them. Okay, then I'll charge up to hops because you have so, a field of protection now, and you don't. So I'm going to rush up to you. Okay, so yeah, um, I'll let you kinda, do this. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Charge, about ten but feet. To so in your way. you can clear that distance. I'll let you clear. And she has okay. enough uh, power shifts to make the standard movement roll. On I'm, I'm not going to penalize. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd say you get up there pretty quick. Oh great. Um, so go ahead and yeah, hit one of these guys. Okay. What's the difficulty? Difficulty's three. And uh, okay. So, so I, my shield already has uh, two modifier for negative. Um, oh, so it's an asset? So, and so it, it drops to one? It drops to one, and then I also have opportunist, which means if uh, an, a creature has been attacked this uh-huh. round, I get an asset uh, to attack so You them. auto hit this? I auto hit this. <laughs> okay. Do you want to uh, roll for extra damage? I'm going to roll for extra damage. Yeah. Get it. Okay. And also, in, in case I get a GM, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool. I, I hit, and then I also want to spend um, two speed to duck uh, down and hide. Okay. Um, so I, I want to basically <laughs> smash in the face and then duck behind the pods and keep my eyes on Jerome. Okay. Amazing! Nice. How much damage do you do? Uh, five damage. Wow! Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you all, anybody who is witnessing this, Luma, literally like a gazelle, just kind of leaps the distance, gets up there and smashes this thing from behind. The back of its head, it snaps down and collides with its own chest as it kind of bends <laughs> a little bit out of place. Um, don't hear a cracking sound though. You just see this thing kind of bounce its head off of its own chest and it literally just kind of crumples down on itself. It is down. Great. Um, oh, thank, I, thank you. And She's then She's already, as yeah. you spin out of the way, you manage to effortlessly weave between all of these creatures as they're attacking everyone mm-hmm. and roll yeah. Until your back Whoa. is up against one of these pods, you've been completely removed from combat and out of sight from everybody. Great. And just so people at home know what uh, getaway is, after your action on one turn, I may move up to a short distance to get behind or beneath something with an immediate range. Nice. Yeah, one of these pods is definitely immediate yeah. range. So you just kind of slide between it and vanish yep. from their point of view. Yep. All right, that's another one down. Mm. I'm so Lacey. proud of Luma. <laughs> Lacey, sweet baby, is very much focused on Jerome. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Sweet uh, honey, I should say. Honey baby. Honey baby. Um, honey baby. Honey, honey baby. baby, that's right. Um, okay, there are weapons on board. Um, that would probably be useful. Um, I'm actually, I'm already in the directory system. Mm-hmm. Uh, every, um, and my first concern earlier was uh, the Callisto 6 energy source. So I'm actually going, given that I'm already in the system, I'm going to ls-a and start looking through the system directory to find uh, where that Callisto 6 energy source is that uh, Jerome Blair said uh, he was doing, uh, using to power these experiments, because we have to take that with us. All right, so if you can imagine Lacey coughing, like dry, (laughs) almost dry heaving from all the poison that has entered into the air. Um, Thankfully, it doesn't enter your system, Lacey. This field that's gathered around your body looks like it keeps enough of it out. You just kind of gag a little bit on the on the scent of it, but it doesn't infect. Hope they're okay. And Where are they? <laughs> you don't feel like in, in this in this heightened situation, you don't feel Lacey in immediate danger. You can kind of feel that they seem to be okay. The poison doesn't look like it affected them. Um, it is kind of affecting your concentration a bit, Lacey. As you're kind of sifting through, but I'm not even gonna have you roll. You managed to find uh, on level 14. Um, here's something interesting. The levels going down to level 20, everything leading down to level 20 is a dummy level. So from 14 down to 20 is just dummy levels. And essentially, by hacking the system and going down the way you did, you begin to realize you actually avoided traps from people who were unauthorized getting down here. Um, you're getting a nature of what is these traps. Some of them look positively medieval. 
and some of them look quite modern in how they implement. You're pretty sure poison canisters are also attached to some of these levels, but you have full access. So you're just kind of scanning through, you're like, ah, oh, ah, well, glad that worked out, and kind of moving on, but at level 14, you see there's a quarantine zone where some of the Callisto Assist energy source apparently has been used on someone. Oh goodness, they've used the Callisto 6 energy source on someone. We have to get them out of here. Okay, that I'm adding that to the priority list. All right, um, is that my turn? Uh, yeah, I would say that was your action. Okay. Are you broadcasting that to everyone in turn? Uh, I, I, was, I was just thinking that. Oh, okay. okay. Um, all right, we're back at the top, so Anton. And does. Uh, what would you like uh, to do, uh, Anton? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, excellent, uh, good choice. Uh, good choice. Can I, can I add one thing? Yeah. As Lacey says that, uh, I'm still tor- sort of near you. Uh-huh. Uh, L- Luma looks straight forward and just says, someone else has the Callisto 6 energy in them. I'm and then, what? Because I'm busy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speak up. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Cass, it's you. Uh, Anton's down and the doc is back up. Uh, yep. Yeah, Doc is looking beat to hell. He he looks like he took the brunt of that that pod to the face. Um, however, the air around him has clearly been toxic. You can see sort of clouds of poison gathered around him, and everyone behind you coughing and gagging and dry heaving. Anton is on the ground unconscious, and you can see the veins in Anton's face mm. kind of appearing close to the surface. He looks like he's been poisoned. Oh no! Um, thankfully, again, thankfully his area of effect does not cause you to have to make a might check every round. So Anton's not dying, but he is done for the combat. Mm. He's down and out. Mm. I've run the the wrong way when my friends were in danger before, so I'm booking it back towards okay. standing asshole. Not, um, not towards the poisonous gas. So you're gonna leave you're gonna leave the fight where you're at? Uh how many of those monsters are still there? With uh, Cass and I? Hector, it says here you'll wake up in one minute, so if this cool. lasts, I have a feeling this will be over in one minute, though. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so you can, yes, you can technically leave, um, but I'm going to penalize you. I won't give them the quote-unquote attack of opportunity, but I, I'll penalize whatever you're about to do. So are you trying to clear the distance from where you're standing to get to where the doctor is? Uh, I... Cause I'll raise... you say that poison gas thing out loud? Uh, when the start well, to if, if, like if you're about to turn away and like start charging there, I'll just like like he, it's poison. Like obviously everyone else was affected. We we were out of the distance for yeah. it, right? So I was planning on so Cass on the point of charging directly to the thing. Poison. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, fine. Okay, get another one. Okay. Um, difficulty three. No, sorry, difficulty four on this guy. <sighs> yeah. I can control the ventilation systems. They're in the ventilation. Difficulty. They're in your ventilation. (laughs) Unless you're going to throw another pot at them. Six. Control ventilation. And up. Woo! Thank God. I rolled a seven and I needed a six. (laughs) Punch. Well, how much damage is that? Uh, that is a standard 11 points. A million. <laughs> standard 11. <laughs> okay, uh, that's another one down. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, Bam! as I see Uppercut that. this thing, and it goes hurtling straight up into the air and comes crashing right back down where it was standing. It is done. <laughs> Crumples to the ground. As that happens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn to you and be like, you got these? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. And I'm going to run, and that's what I'm going to shock the doctor. Can't touch him with lightning. Can't, can't poison right. me now. Uh, go ahead and make a roll. Um, you're going to make a roll. Difficulty is five. You are, in fact, the uh, best. No, it's not attacking. It's three. Dead. I'm going to spend right. a point. Like, Strictly I'm speaking, four. I have a ranged attack, but. Oh, gosh. Only by the I'm low damage. on intellect. <laughs> All right. That does not. I didn't like, say anything. I, I mean, like, if my character is oh obviously quite intelligent. That was about. almost as good as the time you and Gina looked at each other with your oh, fake yeah. left <laughs> the yeah. Which is still, by the way, still one of my yeah. favorite moments that, ever. That's the best re-roll. Yeah, <laughs> fucking best gift. So perfect. <laughs> What'd oh, you roll? Shit. Uh oh. Not bad. Nat one? She spent an XP and rolled bad. an intrusion. Did you roll a natural one? I sure did. Oh no. Is anyone spending an XP? Yep. Thank you. Okay, pull it again. I believe I owed you one. Thanks. That's way better. Success. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cass. Wow, that could have changed the course of this. Sure <laughs> could. It's sure good. Um, all right, so you, you got a success? I did. All right, so you're zapping this guy. How much is he going to take? Eight. Okay. Thank you. I heard it in the music. 
Um, he is still standing. Ow! You <laughs> lightning bolt crashes into his chest, out the back. You see the burn mark appear all over his fine suit that has been kind of bloodied by his own blood from the impact of right. this thing. Oh. And he just takes it and goes <laughs> and looks at you. And he, the, the, the look in his eye is close to madness. He looks so curious about what you just did to him. Between the, the spasms of pain from the lightning bolts, he looks completely intrigued. If I were ever an evil scientist. And that's Hop. So now it's his turn. Oh, shit. Great. He is going to move into range of Hops. <gasps> oh, no. And. But I'm faster. I need you to make a might defense roll of seven. Mm. Which oh. you have an inability on. Oh, oh I do. <gasps> what does that mean? It means it's difficulty eight. <gasps> that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll figure this out. How, what can I use? Mm. I'm fast. Can I use my fastness to no. No, my defense? defense. You, just gonna you, you do have. Um, I do have endurance. Oh, that's an inability. That, sure that's, that would be right. if you were holding your breath. Well, I'm just kidding. It's true. Mm. But it's like it, any, anything dealing with physical actions. Well, I can, holding your breath. Isn't this a poison that comes? Oh through? yeah, it's contact poison. I have endurance. Oh, it's, oh, it's contact poison. Yeah. It's why it's, it's why Luma got smacked up. Well, there's nothing I can do to lower it besides using. Don't then you're just gonna take it. And yeah, yeah. Or, no we'll matter what, it, it would just lower So he auto hits you yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna take uh, you're gonna take five points of damage. To which? Okay. Um, this is going to be. Might? Um, yep, might. Oh, thank God. Mm. Oh no, I'm sorry. Is it speed? Oh, that's uh, the too. aerosolized one was speed. It was speed last time. This is poison breath. Yeah, the he's so breathing on me. He's gross, dude. Get a <laughs> um, get a tic tac. Yeah. Okay, that was great though. Uh, yes, it is speed defense. <laughs> okay. Slows you down. That's fine. I'm so you fast. immediately this this again the, the smell of cinnamon and then strong smell of ammonia just hits you right in the face and hops. <laughs> Your eyes burn immediately as all the moisture in your eyes completely disappears from the acidic nature of this poison. You just kind of, argh, and you start gagging and coughing and dry heaving, just like everybody else. Am I, and, and I'm near Anton, right? right? Uh, yes. Anton's fine. This is not an area effect attack. No, I know. But I was going to try and do something. But I don't think I can. No, because it was his action now. So okay. now he goes, now it's their turn. And the monsters are attacking. Um, all right, well, that one can't attack Luma because Luma disappeared. Yeah. Um, the, the world's made up now. Uh, <laughs> all right, Cass, I just left all monsters. Gathering. Uh, okay, did the right thing. Uh, Cass, oh. I need you to make a defense roll. Difficulty is four because you've got multiples on you again. Oh. Such a better. Oh, you know how you said this rolls a lot of force? Uh, Amy, retire it. For <laughs> retire the dice, Amy. Oh, come on. Um, it also rolled me that 20, though. It's so you get hit? Yeah, it, it actually like, has done. You get hit? I get hit. So it's three points of might damage. Okay. Um, Do you have any armor? No. Mm. Mm. Leather jacket? Doesn't count? Mm. Uh, I <laughs> don't think so. I should look into that. Uh, Mine does. Let's yeah. see. It counts as light armor. You know? I should probably have read that part of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you get. For three okay, cool. yeah, three you points of learning. Take three points of damage. <laughs> um, I get XP for this? So <laughs> essentially, two of them are on you again. Yeah. And the three points of damage you take is just from both of these attacking you. Um, they're attacking in a group. This is their heightened difficulty because you're being attacked by multiples. So you take three points of might damage. Uh, next up is going to be... Uh, that's actually gonna be Cobalt. This thing is still on top of you, so go ahead and make your defense roll. He's on top, not literally. Yeah. You guys aren't like, hey. So I get to use my... <laughs> 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 so you get to use... It's my intellect instead. That's correct, if it is three. Mm. So it's difficulty three. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm gonna spin to bring it down to one. Okay. Four. Whew. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. So once again, this thing just swipes at the air. So now, because it has attacked me and it has failed its attack uh, huh? with resonance field, it takes damage. Oh, how much does it take? Wait. Er, yeah, right? Or did I read that wrong? That's awesome. Huh? Um, that sounds awesome! Yeah. That does sound awesome. So emit faint light, last one minute, pattern energizes to block attacks, and, and 
Oh, it only it does it only does damage minor major effects. Never mind. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. So this cool. thing swipes through you, does not hit. Yeah. It's, it looks furious. <laughs> Every time its claws are coming at you, it looks like it's anticipating that wonderful, gratifying feeling of ripping flesh. And every time this mutated thing with its sort of two, four, two arms coming off the side of its body and this bulbous, like, knotted shoulder as it's going, just not getting purchased. Every time it swipes, just kind of swiping through the air, swiping through the air. <gasps> Get away, Goro. Just thing at the mouth and rage because it can't hit you. Did you name um, it Goro? No, from Mortal Kombat. Oh. <laughs> uh, next up, oh. this is going to be Lacey. Oh. Okay. Um. Um, this thing's coming at you again. Uh, Sweet Baby has interjected itself again. Um, so it's Honey It's Honey Baby is the name of the droid? Yeah. Honey Bee. Honey Bee. Oh, honey Bee. So Honey Bee is once again interjected itself. Go ahead and make the roll. The difficulty is three. Okay. Uh, that's down to one from Resonance Field. Also, by, uh, I took those speed points back up because it's a creature attack, and the thing I got before was uh, gas. Oh, not a okay. So yeah. cool, cool, just cool. for housekeeping. Cool, cool. I succeed. Okay. Once again, your resonance field and a very protective large war droid standing at about 11 feet interposes itself and stops this thing from getting at. And you hear uh, Honeybee go, Operator Lacey, permission to terminate life form. Okay. Um, that's the next round. We're at the top of the round. Anton is unconscious. It's Cass again. Hey, um, the, the other no. half of our people. What's that? We have the people bottom. who after Lacey? the Lacey. We're after. Oh. And that was a defense. Oh, goal. I'm sorry. This is them attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta, I gotta make this a little more clear on my initiative scale here. <laughs> Eric just really wanted to get to me. I just want everyone to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. to be like, hey, what's doing over there? All right, Cobalt, what you, you doing? You want to do a knockout, honey? <laughs> <laughs> so, this okay. thing that is, that's been attacking me, I did notice that um, Jerome mm -hmm. went past me to go over there, mm -hmm. uh, and so. While I am concentrating on moving from this thing, I know that he's the bigger target. And I noticed that when he was blast, that blasted that he's wearing like a silk tie mm -hmm. that uh, kind of got it's caught. It's blue. It, it is blue, but also it is one material. So I'm going to focus on the, uh, the phase state of the atoms of that tie and separate them. Snap. Ah! <gasps> oh. So you're gonna, you're gonna call that it, is, this onslaught? What is this? This is shatter. 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 Okay. What? Yeah. You're, so you're literally de-atomizing nice. his clothes in front of him? Just, mm -hmm. his it, neck it creates an explosion, so it's around his neck. Uh, okay. And, and it's a uh, uh, splatter effect. Okay. Of damage. So, so what does that do? It costs two oh, intellect. Uh, it causes the detonation of an object. It must be small and mundane. Da, 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 and it deals yeah, two more points <laughs> for each uh, for each target that's around it. Oh. How much does it do initially? Uh, six points of damage, mm -hmm. and then even if the attack roll fails, the target still takes one damage. So I'm going to spend. So there's no roll. There is a roll. Okay. It's an intelligence roll. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> In that case. But you said it causes damage to the people around it, too? If you add points. If I add points to it, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I have a question, gang. I'm not a scientist, um, but when there's a, an explosion that is derived from splitting an atom, isn't that very big and I can't bad? do that. You can't level, split so. atoms, yes. but, you can, but, but you can disintegrate something yeah. that would cause, like... Split the molecular bonds. Okay. That is yeah. the Atom. eventual goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popping Atom bomb. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Not goal, <laughs> but aspiration. So <laughs> does, he, does he have to make? Does he have to make intellect defense? Is that what it is? Yes. Gonna have okay. To like a pocket. Um, yeah. His intellect defense is six. Six. Okay. Yeah. And so with this, uh, I believe. Okay. I have so. an edge. Does the tie have a defense? <laughs> no. It's an. Uh, it goes no. It's against an intellect his. attack. Strictly mm. speaking. Okay. And he has intellect, defense, and evil genius down as a trait. Two. So he is. Yeah. <laughs> so there's wow. six down to four. Level six. Okay, down to four. And then I will. Twelve. I think that's all I can do. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is this yeah. a necktie or a bow tie? That's a necktie. Uh, mm. Those <laughs> are cool. More material. Okay. Anyway, uh, twelve or better. Twelve. Twelve. <gasps> yeah. Six points. Yeah. Uh, wait. Is that including your powers damage? What does that that's mean? That's another plus three. Oh shoot! Because you have the powers power shift. You're right. I have two power shifts. So that's another six damage. That's twelve. So twelve total. Oh my god! So you detonate yeah, this guy. So you do a shatter effect on this guy's on tie. silk tie. All right. <laughs> on this blue silk tie. All right. Um, you blew it up. <laughs> then I need so. Holy. So then, okay. So read off the power to me one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Shatter uh, causes detonation of object. Must be small and mundane. Long distance. Each level of effort deals two more points for each target, but I didn't add any. Right. Uh, even if the attack roll fails, all targets take one damage. But it mm-hmm. succeeded, does six damage. Plus, I used my two power shift for this. And so it made it 12 damage instead. So how much is the blast radius? What is that? It's shattered. There's everyone, every, so he takes damage. What does everybody around him take? So because I didn't spend any points, how I'm understanding it yeah. is that I can add points to make it an area of effect, uh-huh. but I didn't do that on purpose. Oh, uh, okay. So it's I'm, a very it's like small a radius explosive, whereas more effort is like adding more um, energy well, to the explosive. He, he had three health left. <laughs> he doesn't anymore. He does not. He wow. is at zero. Negative. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was a negative person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now yeah. he's a negative unperson. Hmm. Mm. So. Eh? Huh? Yes. <laughs> Great descriptor and taking and, and taking him down. So yeah, the tide disintegrates as you have described. Um, there is a, an energetic discharge around his head, and for a split second, there's a flash of light and a popping sound, and a smell. Ugh. Now he's not dead because you haven't told me you're going to kill him. No. And, yeah. I mean, you could. But I could. But he drops to the ground, going ah! He just drops to his knees and then slumps backwards, um, smoke rising from his head, um, which is sort of charred a little bit. Around his neck, there's this deepened black burnt mark going around the center in his chest. The tie area, his clothes have been blown open. They've just been cindered apart. And you see his exposed chest underneath. His chest hair is all... <laughs> he, I mean, I he is, he's gone. We're creating like, an evil league of... People was burned. <laughs> yeah. So there's smoke rising. No one's really sure what the hell just happened to him, but he's even me. I'm not really he sure. Is down. <laughs> he is down. Down. <laughs> um, and there seems to be an immediate reaction from the creatures when he goes down. Um, of. They seem to react to it. They all seem to screech a little bit louder. Everyone seems to take notice that he went down. Mm. Interesting. Wow. Um, he's daddy. <clears throat> And that's your round, Cobalt. So, yep. Luma, you're up next. Okay. Well, they reacted. Are they retreating? Are they? They don't have an action yet. So right now, they're still in combat with everybody. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, I'm still next to you. Are there still anyone on hops? I ran back to. See you're in you cover right now. You're in cover. Okay, Cass has two on her. Anywhere. What's that? Yeah, we're the most immediate person in danger. Uh, still hitting mm. people on the Cass, really Cass has stage, a, but I am the closest. Mm. Cass actually has sure. a wounded one on her right you now. You could go to a Cass. A wounded one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, I would just very much like to s- sneakily stealth over. Do you have over. to roll? No. No. Describe how you take this motherfucker down. <laughs> <laughs> it has one hit point. Okay, so, and it's facing Cass? Yes. Okay, so. So, you have the narrative. Um. You know, I'm sneaking. All you see is the tip of a shield go through its neck. Are you killing it? Uh, I, I mean, it's not really. Uh, it's a yeah, mon- it's yeah. a monster. It's not. Yeah, no, it, this is the. I, it's not. The, yeah. It's, yeah. No. Point through neck and then just throw it to the side, <laughs> and then I, I just look at you and I go, um. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> I, I owed you one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this yeah. wonderful moment is happening right next to There's there. another one right there. I, I, can, I, I can reach and move some blood off your face. <laughs> can Cass just go <laughs> like behind her? <laughs> <laughs> when my turn comes up. Yeah. Um, so that's Luma. You, that's, yeah. That is another one down. Uh, there are only four left. Okay. Um, so Lacey. Um, yes, your, your droid has been asked permission to unleash. You have agreed. So the action is going to be... Honeybee doing its thing. Um, I expend a point. Um, I expend a point of effort. Okay. To lower the difficulty to one. Uh, you won't I have succeed. to. Mm-hmm. If you, are you are you getting Honeybee to to smack this thing up? Uh yeah, I did it as the uh, flavored on thought. It's an oh okay, cool cool cool. Yes indeed. So yes, I I succeed. How much damage? Ten. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, so this manifests with you giving the order and Sweet Baby immediately just sticks its arm out. And you see again that Gatling gun just come out at a point blank range. You hear the 
<laughs> the, the the sounds and smells of plasma bolts launching out of, of Honeybee's arm into one of these things and of just destroying its upper body. Um, <clears throat> literally drills a hole through it with energy. Just and it crumples to the ground dead. And the thing folds back in and you see a canister ping, fly out. <clears throat> Thank you. You are welcome, Operator Lacey. And smoke coming out of Honeybee's uh, expendage, its arm. Um, so that's another one quite, quite dead. Um, okay, top of the round then. All so, right. Cass. Anton, what you doing? <laughs> Just rubbing it in there. That's a gif. <laughs> uh, how many are still, there's three left. There's three I'm, left. There, where, none of them have been injured. The three are that are you? standing. Um, one by of them. Or not by me. One is on me. One is on Kobold. Okay. One is directing its attention at Luma right now, and another one's on you. Okay. Uh, how do you. What is the mechanical way to clock two heads together? Huh. Uh, you did it last time, but he has stretchy powers. Yeah, he rolled a 20. So mm. that, was a, that was a major effect. Yeah, you can't really do. You're gonna really like for that. I think about the future and how much I'd love to eventually have that ability. Yeah. <laughs> As a tier one character, I don't think you're doing two attacks yet, but yeah, yeah. fair enough. Uh, oh, yours are so cool. But God help the world when that day comes. Yeah. <laughs> and all of us. Yes, yes she will. I look back like, did that guy just explode? And what did you just do? And oh, I have a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna punch this thing? Yeah. Make a roll. Difficulty is three. I mean, I don't know that this thing can withstand a punch. <laughs> Man. Unless you roll terribly. I, I don't put that out in the world. Unless you roll you awful. You, you Show me that one, Cass. My strength power should be Show me that attacking. one. Oh. You have to sleep sometime. You know uh, that, right? I'm going to die tonight anyway. Just show me that one. Oh, my goodness. Six to bed. Six! <laughs> nice. Wow. All right, Six so us. how much damage is that? I'm spending myself Eleven. real close to it. Eleven. Here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Cass auto kills these things with a hit. Oh. Uh, Eleven points again. Another one goes hurtling down the hall. <laughs> you send this thing tumbling in a broken form about twenty feet away. It just comes to a rest. I didn't declare it. Can it be Loomis? Sure. Okay. Can wait. Oh, the so you're not attacking dead? next to each other. So sure, sure. You just punch like by the side of my me. hero. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! There's a meaty. There's a meaty slapping sound as Cass's fist impacts on the side of this thing's head, and it vanishes from your point of view instantly. <sighs> punch like it right a, out of a problem, babe. <laughs> uh, so that's Cass. Hops. Yep. That's what you hear. I <laughs> did you not say that out loud? Um. Uh, still coughing. quietly. Oh. Yes. But I also thought it. Uh -huh. Sorry, it's just a yeah. specific thing. Yeah, I also hear it. Was there yeah. flirting? Did I miss flirting? Mm. You didn't hear it? No. Oh. I was too, did you roll I was, I was, Zavad. I was too. <laughs> I was too busy. Damn, I have to sub. <laughs> okay. How um, are you doing? Uh, I am still coughing up <laughs> poisonous gas. Fun time. Uh, crawling over to Anton and going, nap time is over, and putting my level eight cipher, giving him eight points of might and waking him the F up. Yeah. Yeah. He is down to zero, and now he, now he can take a punch again. Are you at zero? He was at zero might. No, I no, was at You uh, just declared him unconscious. So we here, here's what I'll do, though, Brian. at four. Four? Oh. It was because he rolled a one. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. Here's what I'll do, though. Oh. Um, well, I thought he was at zero. Here's if you want him to wake up. Here's because here's the you know he he. Yeah. Should I not? Should I, should I take it back? Never mind. I'll yeah. save it for later. So here's what's gonna happen. Okay. Um, so a GM intrusion activated one of the supervillain's abilities to sure. knock Anton out cold. Okay. He didn't take damage. So if you want to counter that at this late in the game, I'll let you do it if you burn an XP. Sure. I got my last one. <gasps> wake up. <laughs> Can I still um, attack something? Can nope. I like kick him and then nope. go attack? Okay. And there's going to be the the I, and I'm going to warn you. Uh, um, there is still one on you. So if you do this, I'm going to give it a, uh, a bonus to hit you. That's fine. I'm fast. I'm just going to wake okay. up. Okay. Ah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's waking up. <laughs> Famous right. last words. So Anton, <laughs> you hear from a distance this a familiar voice. Really annoying. For a split thrill. second. For a split second, <laughs> you're imagining yourself at a birthday party where you're getting a present. And you're hearing the voice of a young girl in front of you, these big, bright red, like pigtails, and and her giving you this gift that you you think, and then you're waking up. 
you're, you're becoming conscious as you hear, you see the face of Hops over you shouting, and it sounds like it's coming from down a hallway, and this echoes. And then you see something looming behind her. Ignore that. Wake up. <laughs> um, and that's your action. <laughs> um, okay. So Hops, so now it's their turn. Okay. Um, Jerome is down. I'll take my. There's three left. This guy's going to come at you. So Hops, I need you to make a defense roll. The oh. difficulty is five. Oh, wait, it went up. Yes, uh, now because you are, your back is oh. this thing and you're crouched down. That's fine. So you're kind of prone, really. Okay, I'm lowering that to three using my speed defense. Okay. I'm specialized, and I'll just have to go with that, right? Because yep, unless you can roll. I, yep. wait, is it, it do, can I use speed? It's a speed defense roll. So I can, I can use speed out of my pool. All combat is a speed pool. defense roll unless, unless otherwise stated. So I'll use two from my pool to lower that down to two. Okay, so you need a six or better. <sighs> or two. No, okay, so you're gonna take two. three points of damage <laughs> as this thing rakes you from behind. Wait, I want to spend an XP so that she can reroll that. Oh. Reroll it. Okay, I'm not using this die anymore. That <laughs> die's giving me a lot of bad ones. Die. Thank you. Die. Roll a one. Roll a one. <gasps> wow. No. no. What was that? No. I did not roll a one. No. It was, it's another oh. two. I did another oh. two. Oh. Exactly. Which is no. impressive oh, oh. in its own way. One in <laughs> Quick, someone else, give me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> One in five. Uh, take three, three points of right, damage. 20, 20? Yeah. To roll two things. Take three points of damage. Okay, this out of my might. You. Out of your might. Okay. This thing rakes you good. Um, from behind, you can feel that s- that sort of like that pinching sensation. You know, an animal's like a cat claws you. Except for this is a really big cat. It's a really big cat hops. Okay. This thing scratches you good across the back. Um, and gotta leave him what's, back. what's more disturbing about this feeling is the sounds of gratitude coming out of this thing is it, it makes an impact, is it finds skin. Oh, can um, I make myself a lightning bolt? Um, it from its claws. Probably okay, not. another one's on you, Cass. You're gonna have to make a defense roll. Uh, right. Difficulty is three. Mm-hmm. You're gonna wrap this up. Difficulty is three? Yep. I take it down to one and a roll of ten. I'm good. Good. This thing is going to miss you utterly. All right. It's me. Yep, it's you. And I'm going to be using my intellect instead. Uh, <sighs> this flurry, the battle has completely turned. You guys can tell this is moments from ending. These two things are berserked and they're going nuts, but they are completely outnumbered at this point. What's the difficulty? <sighs> difficulty is three. Three. So I have a, a phasing power shift of two. So I bring it down to one. Okay. Going to do that. Nine. Top of the round. This thing, again, the frustration bringing this thing to the point of a berserk fury as it's just like swiping at the air. It cannot make purchase. Here we go, come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cannot get Cobalt. Uh, guess what? Anton. It's <gasps> Anton. Who? It's what? The, the, guys, the bad guys. I keep forgetting the, the damn initiative uh-huh. round. Yeah. Sorry, right about, but uh, we'll get there. I'm sorry. So Jerome is down. I should actually cross him out and yeah. say baddies. Okay. Uh, all right, so it's, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, so Cobalt, yep. uh, it's your round, use okay. your action. What are you doing? So uh, I'm going to uh, I use my plasma rifle. Okay, so you're at point blank. Yeah, so what <laughs> I want to do is I want to use my speed to uh, move out of the way, and I have uh, the skill Graceful okay. and I, that I'm trained in. So I want to, uh, if, if possible, Ow. I'd like to kind of pivot and pull it <laughs> Pivot. Out. <laughs> um, yes, I'll let you do that. Uh, point blank range. Oh dang! Is this a speed? You, yeah, it's roll? a speed attack. If I have a speed of zero, you don't can have to I roll. Still? You're at point blank range. Oh, and, okay. And because of your speed, your speed bonuses. Yeah. The the difficulty is going to drop to zero because it's an immediate bonus to hitting this thing. You are right in front of this thing. You're literally raising the plasma rifle to its chest. Yeah. And being somebody who's phasing in and out of reality, you don't have to worry about the awkwardness of being close to someone. It, like, you really just the gun like, goes lean back. Me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and make a fire and go ahead and make a shot. Okay. Um, and what? How much damage is that? Six <laughs> points. Six. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, smoke coming up from its chest area. Um, there's only two left, and this one looks like it's been brutalized on its chest now. This thing pops off, and as you feel the, the, the buck of the plasma rifle as you shoot this thing. You all hear that, again, that sickening, splatting sounds of plasma burning through skin, and that smell that hits the air. Um, next up is going to be Luma. Yep. Uh, has the creature behind Cass been hit yet? No, but the creature that just attacked uh, Cobalt just got shot. 
That's okay. Um, I'm gonna roll. Little help. <laughs> You've got a gun. Okay. <laughs> um, She's otherwise so, poker. Uh, as I as I see you duck out of the way, I grab your arm and use the momentum of swinging you away to swing into the creature. Yes! Oh. Okay. Um, oh I have to roll though. I'll yes, give you a plus one. Front. Hey, I'm gonna give you a plus one bonus <gasps> to roll for that shit. Okay, cool. It's a plus one bonus. Mm-hmm. So I, then it's a twenty. <laughs> Um, it's an unnatural a dirty 20. 20. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. We so I'll, give you, I'll give you the benefit of a 19 then. Okay. Um, I mean, so, it is a 19. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, but with, right. with the plus one, you'll get a 20. So I'll, I'll give you the benefit of a 19. Yeah. Um, so, cool. no. Yeah. Go for the hollow damage. Uh, you can do you can do three points of damage or a minor effect. Um, uh, three extra points of damage. Can I do minor effect? Yeah. yeah. Um, what sort <laughs> of. Uh, like, like, what can kind I, of minor effect can you do? Uh, a is what I'm you about cannot, to do. Would the five damage kill, uh, like take this thing down, or? So how much are you gonna do base? Base is five damage. Plus the three? Plus the three, so then five And this thing hasn't seven. been injured yet, and, so no, no yeah. it will not take it down. So it's eight damage total. Well, eight damage. Instead, instead of the minor five damage. Instead of the minor. Oh, it's yeah. one or the other. Okay, yeah. then, short, then can the minor effect be that I pin it against one of the pods, like with my shield, like I um, hit it and then pin it? Not with, a, not with a, a minor, minor effect. A minor effect would be something like knock back, move past it, distract it, strike a specific part of the body. Uh, specific part of the body doesn't matter. Yeah, just put um, three damage on it though. Oh yeah, then I'm just gonna just okay. full on swing, smack, eight okay. damage. So you're hitting the one that was attacking Cass? Yes. And how much total is that with the three? It's eight damage total. Eight damage total? You didn't spend a any effort on the I roll. If you put effort now into the damage. I Your shield is five points. Don't, yes. You have to do that before the roll. Okay, cool. That's yeah. fine. Um, okay, so this thing is, uh, <laughs> so Cass, this thing that was on you, you again hear the the hum of that energy shield as it impacts on the side of this thing's head. Um, and it smacks it good. You see saliva and blood exit its mouth as it gets smashed across the side of the face. And it kind of <clears throat> looks like it's completely dazed. Um, that's Luma's turn. Lacey, yep. what would you like to do? Um, Goodness, crap. Uh, Honeybee <laughs> is standing by. Uh-huh. There's a, a one injured one, and then... Two injured ones. Two There's, injured ones. yeah. Okay. Those are the only two standing. Okay. But there's three. There's one on me. Nope. It's there's injured? only two, there's only two left. Okay. Oh, so the one who attacked me was injured. Yeah. Um, oh, it's going down. I'll expend a point of effort. Yeah, onslaught. Um, that's a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, it's <laughs> so an extra point of damage. I mean, are you going after the one that's sure. on Cobalt or the one that's on Cass? Um, I'll, I'll yeah, do the. Yeah, who do you the... like more? <laughs> <laughs> Choose. <laughs> Given that I have faith down to the fundament of my being, like it would be a Star Trek Adventures value that I believe in Luma or Cini to handle anything. I'm gonna help out Cobalt. Cause I know down to my core that Luma's got this. Oh, I think you're gonna say down to your core that I am squishy, cause it's true. <laughs> yeah, right. so people Says that are lazy will help people that are just high. Wait, <laughs> cool. sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, so which one? Cass or, oh, okay, Cobalt. Okay. Yeah, because okay. Luma's got this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, Luma's. What Luma does the one that attacked me do then? Cause it's been taken out. There's, it's, there's only know. one left now. Right? No. I'm the just one that attacked him. me? Got I lost killed? track of it too, but he's declaring that there's only two left. So we're yeah, okay. Yes, I've been keeping track of it. Oh, okay. I, I kept track of all the damage. Cool. Um, cool. So, uh, yeah, so Cobalt. This thing is clawing at you relentlessly, despite the fact it's got a steaming chest. When you see a robot hand come down and engulf this thing's head, and Honeybee picks this thing up off the ground and slams it back into the ground, (gasps) picks its limp body up and slams it back into the ground again, picks it back up and notices that it's just dangling and just pivots and hurls it all the way down the hallway, a good, a cast-worthy throw as this thing goes darting down the hall, crumpled to the ground and rolls. And it goes, you are protected, friendly cobalt. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Last one. Uh, That was Lacey's, we're at the top of the round, Anton. There's one left, it's on Cass. It has a point of damage left to it. (laughs) I'm not poisoned. 
Nope. But I don't have anything in my system. You're good. I am good. Yes. I still feel like I ever, have, okay. after having, have you guys awesome. ever been uh, unconscious and then you wake up? Like, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I've also <laughs> never been coursing with the close to six energy source, so. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's all you had to say. All right. All right. No, I had me spinach. Uh, okay, so I am, uh, 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 I will look over and see that one of these things is attacking Cass, and, um, I'm not very strong, but I'm just gonna try to reach all the way over. You're in range. Smack it. Yeah. Difficulty's three. Okay. All right. Um, Actually, this thing is. I'm gonna lower it by one. Difficulty's gonna be two because it's not facing you. It's engaged with Cass, and yes. f- as far as it knows, you're unconscious and on the ground. Exactly. So I'll give you a two. So six or better. Eighteen. Ooh, so you get you get three extra points of damage. Yes. Um, so Cass, you turn around and see this thing, and you just see this enlarged fist, bam, <laughs> smack it from across the face, and it goes <laughs> crumpling to the ground. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what yeah. did I miss? What's happening? So your hand just stretches back to you, and it's quiet in here. This thing hits the ground, <sighs> and then the only sound is the sound of Honeybee going all hostiles eliminated. Uh, uh, it moves over to Dr. Uh, Jerome. And you see the Gatling gun come out again. And it goes, request permission to end life form Operator Lacey. Um, uh, request denied. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what arrests are for. Uh, I, I, I think, I think that's Corey, what. not familiar with term arrest. Um, one, once we get you up, Link, uh, you, you can look it up. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Folds back in. Um, I think I think we should just take him with us and like put him in jail and stuff. I'm not. Uh, t- we can't touch him. Okay. He's poison. Um. Not only I that. I can't it, believe I'm saying this, but yes, let's call the cops. It, that, we need proof. That's real. That's it. This looks very damaging for us. Where's the being? Um, what? The Callisto Six Energy. It's in a being. Floor what? what? It's in a. It's in a being. In yeah. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. I found it out when I was looking through the directory. How did you know that? I, I, I don't know. It just sort of flowed into my head. A lot of science has been going through my head, but I did just inject myself with a, with a needle of something, and I'm, 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 I feel a lot of things. But I, I, a lot of science. Okay. Um. Okay. Can so. I sling scientist over my shoulder? Uh, Is this guy. Yeah. Oh, don't touch him. Poison. Wait, gas. Oh, he's oh. very close. Okay. I need you to make it my defense roll seven. Um, <laughs> oh, that's not funny. What? Can, not can funny. I try to funny grapple I'm since I can, have touched him and yes. it hurt a lot? Yes. Okay. And she's far away from him. I, I will like, note, Luma, that through the clothes on your sleeve, yeah. he was still able to poison you yeah. with contact. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you see Cass reaching down for him, and I'll let you... Grab hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, it it, um, it seeps oh. through. Shit. Maybe I should Tactile. try something. Honeybee. Also, yes, Operator Lacey. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we Operator Lacey. Our- <laughs> you see Honeybee just grab him and with one hand just. Thank you. Honeybee's immune to. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Should Should I activate the liquefaction protocols for these? What does that mean? Uh. Remember how uh. Dr. Blair said that there's a failsafe that will liquefy. The Zeta protocol. Yeah. Okay. I could activate that and then these won't ever. Okay, I mean, if they were already dead. We need proof though. Like, can some, can we take pictures with Is the contacts? Or something? Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll here. <laughs> um, just so you know, and I'll give this to you easy. The research data pad that you have mm-hmm. oh. is <laughs> a lot of proof. Is a smoking gun. Never uh-huh. mind. It is a silver bullet. No, that, <laughs> that 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 data pad that you picked up off of Dr. Jerome is incredibly incriminating. I'm gonna smoke the heck out of that gun later. Okay. Uh, for now, yeah. Uh, I want since I have hacked, um, I'm gonna activate the liquefaction protocol. Okay. In. All you all calls. hear on the overhead uh, a calming voice say, liquidification commencing. <laughs> this like uh, alarm begins to go off and you all hear this 
kind of soothing, like whirring sound. Um, no screeches, no sounds coming from out of any of these containers, but all of them glow and light up as these things that died peacefully and were brought back for these heinous experiments are once again interred into the solace of death. And all down, you just hear complete in 30 seconds. Um, since I have access to the database, I want to go into the part of the directory that sources and has all of the names of who they were. Like when they actually just jacked um, bodies? None. There are none available. That data was not saved. They just grabbed bodies. It looks like it looks like they used um, what you're seeing, Lacey, as you're scrolling through the records. Some of these are years and years old, mm -hmm. but it looks like they actually tapped a lot of the underground element in Los Angeles mm -hmm. to do some of this dirty work for them. A um, lot of no questions asked, a lot of just Typical. people people just probably no probably sense. workers at the morgue who were just probably. doing, you know, a lot of them a lot of them were murders, a lot of them were like a lot of them were like victims of crime, a lot of these were people who died of old age, who some of them a lot of them unfortunately were homeless and didn't have connections to the world that anyone would notice. Like these are they cherry picked the people that they thought society wouldn't notice was missing. Those are my people. Some of these span back 9 years. And some of them are as recent as last month. Mm. Didn't even keep the names. Yeah, this is this. There is no direct. They didn't even keep the names. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, fuck this place real hard. Look at me. Look at me. They took. They took their lives. You just gave them back their bodies. Okay, you gave it back to them. You gave them I peace. I ate them. I ate them. I ate them. I know. I know. I know. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this ugly, ugly place. Okay. Let's, yeah. go, back, let's go back to Sal. We can't leave yet. I, we can't leave. I know. Lacey. Are there any people that are alive in this building, in this facility, mm -hmm. that we can save? Uh-huh. There, there's whoever it is with the cluster six energy source on the 14th floor, we're gonna have to take that with us because uh, I don't think we can activate uh, that from here and I, I just did not, just not here. Okay, let's go. Okay. So right. we'll bring that and then um, I, I can activate a fire alarm on the others and, and get them to just get away from here. While we're here, if we can be quick, Lacey, is there anything in the database that has something that could help Sal? That's probably going to be upstairs anyway. Okay. Down here. It's probably in the experimental. Yeah. We'll look for the way. Oh, no, on the okay. way. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get in the elevator. So we're going to cut back to Blue yeah. Dolphin Base. Okay. You have been sitting there for a second. Yeah. There's one other thing I wanted to do before we left the building. Okay. That's fine. You're not leaving the building yet. Yeah. Uh, um, just. The literally on our way out. Okay. Oh, sorry, you're doing a cut. Oh, yeah, that yeah. kind of cut. I thought you were cutting all of us back. No, inner cut to oh, yeah. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, please. Oya, you're exhaling for a second because you've been able to feel the rising confidence of your fellow team members. And then you begin to feel them. It's it's like uh, it's those moments like in a like in a like in a game that you might watch on TV or something, be it football or basketball, whatever, whatever's happening, you feel them, they find the groove, they find that sync up in their team effort, and they become a one unit, and you can feel that, that unity as they drop the violence around them. And a calm begins to fall back over you again. And at about that point, as you're starting to, f the glow begins to fade away as you're sitting there, you kind of blink and realize that there's a cup being held in front of you, a mug, and it looks like this big meaty hand with just two fingers holding this mug of cold coffee. <laughs> just going. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, Sal. <sighs> and he just thuds. Um, as he's walking away, Oya, it could be your imagination, but that black spot on him looks bad <laughs> from here, like a little bit bigger. <laughs> Um, and at about that point, you hear in your sub vocals as you are getting contact once again with your team. And all of you, as you're moving through the elevator up to the 14th level, you begin to hear that you're getting back. Well, hey, hey, you guys are okay. Oh, eh. sort of. Yes. <laughs> you guys must have gotten beaten up pretty bad. I could feel it. 
But Nothing a little Neosporin can't fix. How's Sal doing, though? Same. Not good. I, I can't do anything. Nothing's working. Well, we might be able to do something when we get back. We found out some information. Also, do we win in the end? Like, what happens in the end? Are we okay? I don't <laughs> know, but there's somebody there who can help you, and you need to, you need to find them. Where? Oh, how? Do you know? What? I don't know. Weird power stuff. Oh, okay. You somebody that can find... help us? Yeah, there's like a pod, and it has... It looks like the size of a person, and it has our symbol on it. <sighs> Which is, by the way, that information is going to dramatically help you in your search into where it is. <sighs> okay. I couldn't tell, like, where exactly, but it's definitely where you are. Does the 14th floor sound right? Yeah, I would say let's just throw a narrative at it because you, yeah. Oya, you've done you've done a deep dive through the mystical eye of space time. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember would say. seeing that too. There was a fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's right. You have to find them. Okay. How do we get to the fourteenth floor? Just the past elevator. 14? Also, I wish you were I mean, here, but I'm really glad you were here. But I wish you were here, but I'm really it glad is. you were so far away. But I wish I'm you glad were. you guys are alive. I, is it restricted? It's like, it's like that feeling of when. Now I know what my mom feels. Like, <laughs> if I'm out really late and I don't call or, or send her a message and say I'm You all you. did it to me last week, freaking underwater! Well, I get it now. <sighs> God, it's terrible. It's a terrible feeling. Bah. Everyone, tell people you when you're late. Y'all can hear that. <laughs> you just hear, bad. Hey, Sal. 14. Miss you. I go over and I um, put my... Uh, just put my arms around Sal and kind of give him a little hug. Okay, he doesn't look like he comprehends, really. He just kind of stares at you and just goes, mm, bad, as you're hugging him. Let me know if there's anything that you need me to do, but we'll be here when you get back. We'll be back soon. Okay. Thank you. The doors open at four, level 14. Um, open lab, there's no hallway here. It looks like it's just an open laboratory. Visible immediately are holding cells on the inside where you see beds of people curled up sleeping. Um, maybe 20 or 30 of people inside these cells. Oh my God. Um, and walled glass, glass walls. And there is one scientist in here who looks like they've fallen asleep on their desk. Um, and as you, you all step out of the elevator, the place is mostly empty. Um, okay. But ev there are no real walls. All the walls here are glass, so you can see into room, into room, into room, into room. Um, everyone make a perception check. Okay. Um, difficulty of this is going to be four. Um, okay. uh, instead of perceiving, uh -huh. can I um, go and stand and look at uh, Jerome's face and yeah, turn into him? <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Um, okay. Yes, you can do this. There's a guard at the sleep of the desk. I don't want There to is a significant height difference, but yes, you can do this. Sure. Um, I mean, so I'm going to lower it down. So you just pay, you basically look at him and Luma, you yeah, kind of. I'm you, not touching him or anything. I just I need to see him. Yeah, you just look at him. Um, Y'all watch in amazement as Luma begins to grow. You've seen her change shapes before. You've seen her alter to, to, to look like certain people. And as she grows, you see the her bracelet begins to light up as it does computations. And there's this wave of energy that spreads over her body as it begins to form into this holographic, like almost almost holographic, but it looks like the, the, the skin of the suit itself begins to just you watch the blackened suit of Oniko begin to fade away into a lab coat. And it's a little uncomfortable, Luma, as you yeah. stretch the body out and mimic. It's it's that slight discomfort like you've like a like after a workout and it mm. feels like your bones hurt. It's I just instinctually go to straighten my tie. <laughs> you see Drew, Dr. Jerome in perfect recreation standing in the elevator with you now. Uh, I succeeded in my perception check. Okay, <laughs> who made the perception check? Uh, you see a very large pod about four rooms down. It's the only one on this floor. And it's in a what looks like a room that is lit with red light, and the power is off in that room. Mm -hmm. But it's very visible in the red light. Okay. It's I need laying. To hide for one second. Yeah. Oh, couldn't we just. Um, I mean, you did a great job. Couldn't we just have Cass bonk this guy in the head? <laughs> oh, I was going to just give him a chance to leave, but I suppose we can just I'm hit kind him. of pissed at these guys. Can we bonk him on the head? I like you. <laughs> Do we need him to turn off the nonsense? No, no we have, we have Lacey. Lacey. Yeah, good point. Okay, 
<laughs> Lacey's covering all, all right. of our tech nonsense. <laughs> Backup plan. If he, if something goes wrong, you're real mad at me. Sure. Okay. I'm plan B. I'll just stand at the elevator. <laughs> okay, you walk into this room. It's a very large room. Uh, again, about 20 people is what you're getting, uh, getting a, a, and some of, like, stretching down the length of this floor. Um, the fee, there's like an energy field. So it's basic, very basic force field technology. Um, almost all of them are asleep. Um, and you walk over to this guy who's unconscious. He's on the desk. What, what do you want to do? Lift him and... <laughs> 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 you, <laughs> you just bips him up, smack him back down. Uh, he's, I, I'm not gonna, he, he is he is dude number Clean. three. So uh, yeah, he's unconscious. <laughs> you, you lift him up and just like, like getting water out of a towel, just bam, he's down. I think we're good. <laughs> what are the, we need to get these people out of here too. Yeah, are they innocent people? If I can check the lab notes, I can find out. Okay. Um, check away. A lot of them are kids that were oh. mag boarders. Some of these are people that uh, fell into a life of crime Do and I looking to make money. Them? No. From the underground? Okay. No. In a city of nine million people, there's a lot of- Hey, you be I get around. Yeah. <laughs> Let's um, get them out of here. Yeah, you don't recognize any of the names, but yes, all of these people look like they might have been next up on the experimentation scale and were being kept in here. They're all healthy. Looks like they're being fed, and but all of them have been put on sedatives so that they would be a little more cooperative. Hmm. I've spotted the pod as well. I believe we can split up and accomplish these tasks. Yep, it's when she was doing the bonking, I noticed it over there. Yeah, it's over there. So this is actually an easy moment um, to do a cut scene, a, 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 a quick montage, as you will, as you guys begin to wake people up one by one the Callisto Six moving through here, and people sobbing when they see you lifting them out of the beds. We'll, and, be, we'll wake up, I don't be. Yeah, I figured, I figured, don't worry. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just don't wanna traumatize them. <laughs> um, one by one, 20 people, you have to do a couple of trips to the elevator. You do move over to this pod. It looks like it is latched closed and highly secure, and it also looks like it has an internal life monitoring system. Um, and it looks like it is being flooded with sedatives as well to keep whoever inside unconscious. Um, but you do see the unmistakable signal, just like the canister that puts you all here today. Is there any um, obvious way to open this thing? Um, it looks like there's a data pad Wait, or a computer that port. symbol's on it? Yes. The one My that symbol? Blue and design? Oh, wasn't that symbol on? Nope. No, no, you're just right. No, that's Sweet Baby's Sorry, you're right, you're, yeah. you're right, you're right. It just right, says right. Callisto 6 It just says Callisto 6 on the tab, that's okay. right. So, we both like heads real like, hard. Like, no, shit, it's I'm spreading, not. guys. <laughs> okay, thank you for reminding me. This. For some reason, so because every time I picture it, I'm, I always, know. I'm always picturing like the Callisto Six with symbol of the canister. But she I, built that. That's no, right. No. It's your weird Callisto. That's right. In Canon, in Canon, you designed it. <laughs> so it yes. just says Callisto Six. It's it, yes. It says actually like specifically. It says it says the C Six. It says C Six on the side of it, mm. um, and has okay. the exact same font and security clearance pod. But it's, it's unmistakable because you guys get close to it. It seems familiar. It's like when you're close to Tristan. You don't feel, oh, ooh, Tristan, sorry, yes. man, I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is what happens when you drink water when you're jamming as opposed to coffee. Well, kind of. Um, sure, so water. It's, it's, it's like, you know how when you're, when you're close to Cobalt, you don't feel Cobalt the way you do each other. Mm. When you feel him at all, he, he's not, he's most of the time, you have no idea. But when you're close to him, there's a, fam there's a sense of familiar with him. Sure. Um, it's kind of the same with this mm. pod. Um, Oya, you can see through the feed what they're looking at, because I'm assuming you guys are sort of like. Connected now. Yeah, we you are. do the yes. thing. Yes. That's, that's the thing, that's it. That's what I saw, that's it. <gasps> Is that a no on obvious ways to open? That's correct, yeah. We gotta get it out of here. I know a way we can move something I, big and heavy. Yeah. You've picked one up before. We yeah. might accidentally I, I'm, I'm halfway, it. I'm like, wait, what's your idea? No, it's you, <laughs> it's you. you're the idea. Oh, okay. You're a crashing sound suddenly? Um, we just have to make oh, it secure wait, first. We don't wait, want to liquefy. Real quick, uh, then I can disconnect it and you don't have to rip it out of the wall. Great. But if you want to rip it out of the wall, but maybe no, if you no, don't. No, no that's not uh, idea. This one. So as this conversation's happening, you're hearing, you hear a crashing sound back towards the elevator? What the fuck? And you're watching Honey Baby pick Jerome back up off the ground and put him back up and says, he was becoming conscious Operator Lacey. <gasps> <laughs> um, 
Thank you for that. There <laughs> is a spider web of sh of cracks going through one of these glass walls, <gasps> and it looks like there was an impact point. <laughs> and sweet honeybee just, just put him back up onto his shoulder. <laughs> Continue to do that. Good job. <laughs> Imitating a friendly Cass. <laughs> Get on you, son. Oh, really learning <laughs> violence. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. So one by one, unless there's another scene you wanted to do, one by one, we're going to filter out. And um, if you can imagine, in the middle of the night in the LA forest, emerging from this laboratory, walking towards your dropship, rolling towards your dropship, thudding towards the dropship with this droid stomping behind you. Um, a, a crowd of 20 people slowly walking behind you, holding each other. Luma, um, we need to spread the message, and these are the messengers. These are the people that will get to the underground, and they have something to fight for. Yeah. And one by one, you guys are all moving back into the dropship as yeah. this starts, the, uh, the eyes of everybody, yeah. Before we leave the facility, mm -hmm. just last thing on the way out, the very last thing, um, I'm gonna do the thing that they always taught me never, ever, ever, ever to do. I'm gonna pseudo RM dash up. I'm going to completely <laughs> wipe the ever living out of this database. Like, your system Wait, is. But no. did we find Make anything a roll? Yeah, what the data 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 pad. Pad. The data, data pad. The data pad has all the research. Yeah, yeah, but what if we need a little thing more? Uh, the GM is telling you the yep. data pad yeah, has the yeah. research, so you don't have to worry about it. I wouldn't okay. screw you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm worried about yeah. <laughs> um, So the difficulty of this roll, you're going to wipe the. That's going to be pretty tough. That's seven. Yeah, basically, I get root access and then. Difficulty seven. Okay. To hack this. Um. All right. I will. Um, Talk us through it. Mm -hmm. I, so my hack macro is five. <laughs> so it drops down to two. Um, because I have skills, I, I have technology. You. It goes down to two. I it goes down to two. <laughs> skills, your power sweet shifts, baby. your assets. You have sweet baby um, as the asset. And I will, yeah, sure. I'll expend two levels of effort. Okay, so no roll? Nah. Cool. Okay, from seven wow. to zero. Frack your database. Superheroes. Frack heroes. ever being able to use this facility in any kind of meaningful way ever again. Mm. Frack being able to open the door to this facility anymore. Um, that was nice for you. So you basically insert a virus that corrupts and destroys all the I, data. I literally get root access and tell it to delete all the things. Okay. It's a really simple command once you're in and have root. So it's, you're watching all the data <laughs> begin to appear. This whole building begins to go quiet in your mind, Lacey, as it just goes... And to clarify, did I hear you, Sam, say before we were gonna enact this plan that like we were gonna set up like a fire alarm to evacuate the rest of the staff? Yep. To, so they're all gone, they're all out, so there's no yep. other like innocent or guilty lies. I'm assuming yep. over the next that 30 minutes, the you guys clear exactly. this place out Got and it. delete yes. the files. And I cool. want Luma and Cobalt to tag it. Symbol. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And we, we've been talking to the, yeah. the kids. Yeah, this is um, a, we <clears throat> usher them into dropship, you and I are tag teaming, just like making sure how everyone's mental self-care is happening right now. Okay. And letting them know that. This is the symbol. This you is. You see this, it's yeah. the resistance, you're part of it now. Um, I would like yeah. to uh, address the group of 20, the youths yeah, in, that's the, um, the, in the dropship, and I'm gonna say, yeah. hey, who wants to go to In-N-Out, huh? <laughs> Let's go to In-N-Out. <laughs> Does that sound good to everybody? <laughs> Going to In N Out Burger? <laughs> a few yeah. of them are like. Can, like, can you get Alia's oil yeah. order so we can get some? Yeah, we're gonna we'll go we're going to Alia's In N Out. Order. We're good. Oh, she knows my order. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um a more somber note up at the front of the ship as y'all are flying back over downtown Los Angeles. Of course it was night when you arrived, so it's closer to about three thirty in the morning now. I will compliment your destructive work. Um Sifting through uh, the data is going to take probably a while, but it can be done once you have time to focus on it. But you see the city lights of Los Angeles, this grand mega city of nine million people. Um, a lot of them completely unaware that they are prisoners in this city, dependent on a system that has been put in place that you are now fighting. Um, the air cars flying around corporate LA like fireflies in the middle of the night and the soft yellowed lights of Raft City off in the distance. From here, you can easily see the soft glows of Baldwin Heights, um, now known as Baldwin Island. Um, the city just seems so peaceful from the hell you just left. Um, and it's remarkable to think that these people are living their, di their lives every day without realizing that only 20 miles away there was this. And you can't help but wonder 
what the hell else Fletcher Krauss has going on. You discovered this on, on just a pure chance that you crossed paths with the Deathless and were given this information and given the truth about Kylan. And you kind of shudder to think of what it may have been like if you hadn't walked into the alley that night at the convention. And it starts to dawn on each one of you that in some way, the resistance, that protest, people raising their voices, people speaking out about what they believe and refusing to back down, is what drove you all into that alley that night. And you guys head back towards Blue Dolphin Base and a place to put these people down to find them food and shelter and to plot the next move. Can I say, turn and say one thing to Anton? Well, yeah. Fine. You know how we talked about how you're better off knowing? I point vaguely at the city. How do we get them to feel that way? <sighs> yeah, that's a good question. That was terrible, Luna. I know. But it was kind of like I could hear you with me. <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely could hear you. Of course, when I'm in danger, all I think about is you. <sighs> Literally, in my head, saying things. So much science things, things I shouldn't know the words to. That wasn't all you thought about. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, look, turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, instinctually look over at Cass, um, and you hear, um, she's just like him. I think so, too. I say that out loud. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I miss him. Yeah. Every day. An inner cut as you two hold each other's hands. You're hugging Sal, and he reaches down and just, you see his big hand envelops yours, Oya. And then he just goes, good. Better. Better. Next week will be our season finale. Ah. Also, in the year 2119, there are 24 hour in and outs. <laughs> 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 it's not that terrible. I want to get three in the morning. Tonight. Can we go? Thank you. <laughs> no, no, go. Sponsor us in and out. I, I say that's where we go for dinner. Okay. Um, we'll so we will have the aftermath of this mission and the setup to the season finale. You dealt a serious blow to corporate LA tonight. Yeah. And saved a lot of lives and saw some disturbing shit and captured your first super villain. First uh, he likes my friends. Well done. Mm. We gotta drop him off at a police station with a sign that says, Your friendly neighborhood, Callisto 6. Please do not oh, touch. touch. Yeah. LAPD, <laughs> LAPD would be so excited yeah. to get a corporate criminal. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Meow, meow. <laughs> everybody gain two XP. Yeah. Woo! Uh, we are going to take off now, everybody. Um, stay tuned. Fangirling is up next. And then after that is everyone's favorite show about blood-sucking leeches wandering the streets and getting super emo. Also okay. known as Vampire the Mountain. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm werewolf all the way. So. Oh. Yeah. oh. No. We'll, sorry. Talk. we'll talk. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Fiona, baby. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, everybody stay tuned um, as our Friday night programming continues. Thank you so much for and vote. Us tonight. And, and vote. 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 vote for Measure Z. Vote for Measure Z. Yes, uh, measure Z. Measure Z. <laughs> yes. And I will life. close out by saying that uh, stay tuned and watch our social media because uh, this coming Tuesday, we are going to be putting up that poll to vote on for or against Measure Z. Mm. So, And your votes will determine the course of season two of Callisto 6. <sighs> Until then, everybody, Blood pressure. happy voting and stay whimsical. <laughs>